Ah, it's playing twice for me. Pre previously on the Myriad, Timmy Tulip fucking died after being in the party for a day. He died doing what he loved, <laughs> drinking the corrupt blood within a complex ritual of human corpses. Another flesh meteor was summoned, landing further to the east. The group finally located and met up with Radiant Mike. They found out that he was not responsible for the flesh meteors despite being knowledgeable of them. He intended to join a troll shaman to the north and continue causing havoc with them, but found greater purpose and opportunity to begin a cult of his own within the desperate populace of Leiloon City. A lot of weird stuff happened. Last session, Flaherty beat a man to death for his tooth after seducing him with the aid of mind-altering occult magic from Chuck. A premeditated murder for the ages. The group feared giving their teeth to Radiant Mike in order to join his cult as they are aware of how Chuck can manipulate people when he has things belonging to them. So you all made an effort to get your teeth back before abandoning Radiant Mike and saying that you were going to go uh, after much discussion to seek out Gilead to the south. The intention was to kill him because of how much he knows about the group's illicit behaviors, but it may be just as likely that Chuck truly wants to finally confess his feelings to him. We'll have to wait to see if that is the case. Uh, have you all on the map here uh, leaving the church near Leiloon, and we can start from there. Uh, where do we want to go? What do we want to do? Any questions from last week? It's been a while. Uh, Where's the, uh, show us the over map or whatever of, uh, the island. Yeah, I think we established that, like, Flatty saw, uh, Gilead heading south, so that's kind of where they would go. Rough direction. We're checking out Port Town, but I want to, I want to establish our route. Yeah, yeah give we me, have to go give the me one second. around, right, because of the bomb. Hey, there's an interesting little thing underneath Killfuck's head. What's that? Uh, that, uh, that. <laughs> oh, it, it, it said possessed the entire time. Oh, it time. did say possessed. Oh, the yeah. Okay. Okay, so it's the minute one. <laughs> oh, I missed that. <laughs> I am grabbing the map. I've just been playing them straight. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Great possessed. Hmm. Actually, uh, oh, the one good bit of information I wanted to say is that uh, the map loading thing has been fixed, but it was a map tool that, issue. Yeah. And it is not going to be actually fixed until the next uh, beta version is, is finalized. But it is finally freaking fixed. Just in time for this campaign Ooh. to be over. <laughs> Heck yeah. Or I now. think we're dead. I think this, I think this is the <laughs> I think this is the last episode. Yeah, I got I got last episode vibes as well right <laughs> <laughs> yep, I, I think this is the last episode man i really do i woke up feeling that shit i was like there we go man i i w <laughs> oh man oh shit i think if one of us dies because what we're down to four uh yeah well the pl oh, well you technically fight you man. have kill fuck's head <laughs> and you're seeking gilliard why the fuck is sure for here is he coming back Oh, because we're seeking Gilead. Why am oh, I okay. here? I'm still fucking in the campaign. Yeah, but I mean, are you? You're dead. But uh, but Gilliard's out there. The agreed upon plan was. <laughs> we're supposed to just leave. Maybe take a look in the <laughs> town uh, to the church next to the this church, which was not investigated, and then find Gilliard. Maybe yeah. I use the maybe I use the book. Maybe it's time. Um. To call out. Um. What do you think? Not yet. Not yet. I mean, Not yet. why don't Not you yet. Just use your like okay. one free text and hit up Gilead? As as a recap of where you are, looking at the map with my pointer, uh, you're currently uh, in Leiloon, okay. which is right here. Flesh Meteor, oh, obviously, yes. right there. If you head out to the main mm -hmm. road, that's the Consulate Blockade, which you don't want to be any part of, and this whole main road is covered with monsters. So mm -hmm. you kind of traveled like somewhere around you're here, about, like going around, would be where the mm -hmm. tower was that you guys were at, the astrologer's tower. So if you kind of went around, would be the safest go around, route. Go to the wall, climb down the wall, and then go to the port town. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay, I, mean, I don't know right. if we, I don't know if we can climb that wall, but <clears throat> yeah, that's okay. the route that we that's will take after we search this city first or town. I need a rest at Village. some point too. I'm negative two sanity. Oh god. Okay, one moment. Dick. Dick Clifford in. Are we all saying the last things that we ate? 
Hot pocket. <laughs> Factor me. Wait, what kind of hot pocket? Uh, I do triple ham. Mm. Oh, it's oh, ham fuck. and cheese, but I stuff more ham in myself. Okay. You know. You're a liar. So you Love that. I swear to God, I do. Stuff it in. How do you I'll stuff your picture? In? What that do you shit's mean? too it's hot, like, bro. Your fingers are gonna melt it oh, trying see, to like, stuff that ham like, in there. You just push it into the no, hot cheese. No, with the chopstick. Um oh. anyway, <laughs> as you guys are preparing to leave Victoria. the church, uh, and you haven't officially left yet, uh Radiant Mike will have had some time to think about the situation and the fact that you're leaving and how evasive you all seem to be. But despite that, Radiant Mike always seems to want to be the better man and will propose a an, an option to the group uh whoever else was in here i don't know who was present or would want to talk to radiant mike if he's looking for someone to speak to so whoever wants to be here can be here i'll Throw be here at him <laughs> hey guys i was just wondering i'm really sad to see you leave but i was thinking maybe there's one last parting gift i could give you all well mate well it would be a shame if you died before you got to kill gilliard and eat his flesh. So I thought maybe <laughs> if I could prepare a flesh ritual and protect you from the Cambians along your travels. <coughs> well, All right. Okay. Oh, what was it about a flesh ritual? Yeah, we should do that. Well, Definitely. if we just gather up a whole bunch of filth and I pray to the progenitor, I think that he'll find you guys safe passage to your destination. I just have to ask, and I can't force you to do this, but... I was hoping that uh, this means you would definitely come back and be my friend. No worry, Mike. You seem like a straight shooter, bruv. Of course we'll come back. All right. Well, I trust Nick's judgment. <sighs> Holds my thumb up. Hasn't steered us wrong yet. Well, um, kind of. If you guys want to look around town while I get it ready, or I can just get it ready now. Yeah, mate, let's take a, a little peek in case you snuck up here, bro. Yep. Sounds good. All right, then. I'll be here with my filth and rats. Love it. Love you, Mike. Hang on, all right. Why isn't he saying it back? Hold on, I deleted you. I, I love you guys. Oh, oh my God. Ah! 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 <laughs> fucking Eris clip. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the party travels a short way to the west coming down the hill from where the church was and seeing a bustling small village uh with crowds of people all over the place uh it would seem that due to the recent atrocities a lot of people have been displaced into leiloon that are also incapable of going north through the consulate border um most people seem to be able to be getting through there, but there's a lot of people that are uncomfortable going that route or maybe just got cut off and don't want to deal with the uh, the creatures that are along that path as well. So a lot of people end up here uh, in Leiloon. Uh, hey guys. What? Does that troll look familiar? <laughs> Mate. <laughs> You can't say all <laughs> trolls look the same, right? No, I think that. that's the yeah, same troll. Think... They got different warts and shit on their faces and whatnot, bro. Uh, they all look the, think... they all look the same to me. Ooh, I I'm really sorry, don't think you can do. say that. Oh, I don't think you can say that part. <laughs> Man, they do all look the same, bro. You oh, right. now you're <laughs> Yeah, I'm a fucking troll they racist. <laughs> I'm a troll what racist, was the name but... of the village that we started in? The village you started in was Eden. Yeah, and like, also, this is what that Eden, troll that looked thing. like. Not the same at all. Well, <laughs> I'm going to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for reference. It's quite different. Hey, you troll face. <laughs> hey, you troll. Boy, what you want, brother? Be, be nice to him. <laughs> why, does you, why are you making him sound like that? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> he said, brava, dude. <laughs> well, now I don't want to do the... <laughs> he said, bruv, he's English! I'm just right. a simple troll sitting here on the side of the road. Okay. You're gonna come right. over and say something mean to me. <laughs> hey, are you, are you that troll from Eden that was banging that chick? Oh... <laughs> I've never been to any chicks. I've never been to Eden. 
Oh. Do you know anyone? We ought to do something about one of those. Do you have a cousin in Eden? I, I don't think so. They're not all oh. related, Chuck. Well, surely they are, right? Isn't that kind of how it works? No. But you know what well, I heard? I mean, bro? down the line, they have to be all related, right? If they're the same race. You know what I heard? Right? Mate, mate I'm pretty sure once they eat enough, they just produce another troll, mate. Right from their bodies. Yeah, from their foreheads, bruv. From their foreheads? Yeah. Is that true? Well, I'm definitely hearing some kind of racist <laughs> stuff going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a racist, well, man. I'm fucking ignorant. That's all, bruv. Well, what are I'm you not. doing here? Just coming around to make fun of trolls? <laughs> no, mate. No, no. <laughs> bruv, oi. You seen a, uh, a somewhat tall, arrogant, black-haired, yep. uh, pair, kind, of, kind of ruddy-skinned, night-looking fellow come through here, mate? White? Yeah, he's white. He's white. Skinned. <laughs> I don't think he's ever smiled. Mm. Yeah, he don't smile, yeah. man. He, he looks scowl. determined. He looks determined, bro. He looks kind of like, like a... Kind of like a... P pretentious sort of vibe Honestly, judgy you won't look the same to me <laughs> see <laughs> you see <laughs> even me mate even me oh no you're even smaller <laughs> <laughs> all right what about right. flaherty she well, i guess you two kind of you know what actually <laughs> uh <laughs> Maybe he's so got he, a point. <laughs> you ain't seen him then, mate. Would you guys want to hire my services? Get me your meal. What do you do? Well, I'm a troll, so usually we lift big things. Oi, actually, mate. You ever killed another troll before, mate? <laughs> oh, I uh, don't think I'd want to do that. Wait, well, you know, what if he was very bad, mate? He's a fucking evil yeah. troll. Bad troll. Oh, I don't think that, uh, being bad's a real thing at all. Oh, yeah, mate. What, what if, all right, supposing, hypothetically, uh -huh. he, uh, what if there's, yeah. there's a fucking troll and he summoned a bunch of fucking flesh beasts to eat everyone, mate? Would he be evil then, bruv? Are, are you implying that the trolls did all this? No, mate. What if, I'm what just if saying, trolls hypothetically. Just troll. Whoa. What if this whole thing that happened, what if there was a group of people that let it happen because they wanted to get their friend laid? <laughs> Would that be bad? <laughs> this, this all sounds kind of bad, but if hypothetically there were some kind of <laughs> troll summoning things, I would have to show my respect to them. Why? Oh, because they must why? be a powerful showman. Yeah, but wouldn't you be more powerful, mate, if you fucking killed him, oh. right? What if they, what if they trying to kill you? Me. Yeah, what if? Okay, what if the other troll is coming towards you and saying that if if you don't stop me, I'm gonna kill you right now? I don't think yeah. any of you's ever met a troll before. Yeah, We're but it's what if he did, you know? <laughs> We're very non-violent creatures. I don't think oh. another troll would want to kill me. I don't want to kill mate. them. Mate, listen, the only troll that I've met, I don't know about these lot, was chasing us <laughs> uh -huh. with murder, murderous intent, mate. Yes, he tried to kill us. <laughs> well, that's quite For no weird. reason. He did do that, although that's not how I died. Well, I died a different way. It's certainly not something I want to get myself involved in. All right, well, we can't hurry then, mate. Oh, actually, so what? Uh, you, you work for food then, mate. Well, if you could keep me fed. Then I could keep lifting things. Mate, there ain't no way to keep you fed. Can, can you do, like, protection? Well, I suppose. He said I, he's non-violent. Uh, protection's a little bit different if I protect my little ones. You got kids? Oh, no, trolls can't have kids. <laughs> then how are you... Then how are you here? How are you... How yeah, are mate. you existing? Well, it's one of the great mysteries of life, then, isn't it? All right. No, it's not a mystery. <laughs> well, then how do you make <laughs> new people? Hairy. 
Yeah, I don't well, think any. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, it might, I don't know if he's ready for that kind of universal truth. <laughs> All right. Well, if we're going to share it. secrets, then. <laughs> Wow. Do you know actually how it, it happens then? You ain't just pulling me leg. How what happen? How trolls come to be. Honest to goodness, I haven't the slightest idea. Then I ain't telling you how sex works, mate. Alright. You just told him. <laughs> he don't know how it works, bruv. <clears throat> I've definitely right. seen some, some dogs in the forest doing some weird <laughs> things. <laughs> that was sex, what? mate. You were watching dogs in the forest. Have <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to wrap yeah. my head around it. Around the dogs? Why is he climbing up on that other dog like that? <laughs> well, there's a woman over here. Right now. I want to find Gilead. <laughs> All right, mate. Look, it was good to meet you, troll. Oh, please, please, if you you have any food. No, hey, no, man, mate, no I... food. Oh, actually, mate. You know, there's a fucking there's a village south of here, bruv, on the other side of the lake. There's a big, burly, mean-looking fellow who's defending the village. Refused to leave. You probably know him, actually. <sighs> he had like 200 fish next to him, bruv. <clears throat> Wait, we should probably hire this guy, right? Boy, this guy, mate, he ain't gonna help. <laughs> he can't fucking help us, mate. He might give us protection on the road. Yeah, From look at him. Do you, do you fight at all, mate? He oh. said he protects his little ones. Would you fight like flesh dogs? Flesh dogs? Yeah, would you stand to in flesh right. dogs? Flesh creatures in general. Mm hmm Could you help me understand the moral implications of wiping out a flesh dog? God damn it, we're not here to discuss philosophy. <laughs> you don't want to kill us. Listen, you want the wealth or not? Well, I want food. I don't care about your shiny little wealthies. Oh, fuck off then. Oh, Wait. bro. Wait. Why are you... Hold on, hold on, hold on, okay? What if... You know those dogs that you saw with the... With the penis having sex with the other dog in the woods? Oh, is that what that thing is? The, yeah, with the lipstick around... Yeah. Underneath them. All right. Yeah. What if one of those dogs was made of raw, exposed flesh and started attacking Dick's face? Oh, this is all and, complicated. But still had the erection. It usually, <laughs> I'm just pulling my well, cart around, and that's all I need to do. I don't need to think about all these complicated dog smashings. God damn it. If so, if someone attacked you, you'd do Tech nothing. <laughs> well, I've never been attacked and actually been able to feel them do anything. Oh. Okay, but what if? You've never thought about what you would do if you were attacked. Well, what, what you gonna do to me, little man? <laughs> Not us, mate. Cute little doggies. Don't yes. call me a dog, mate. <laughs> Didn't you just kill her dog? Listen, man, if you ain't going to give me no food, then just move along. I mean, look, maybe, I mean... <laughs> Mate, what do you listen. want, like a like some bread? <laughs> I don't know, like he, he's a full fucking cow, mate. We can't afford that. Yeah, any of you guys got like a like a whole pig? <laughs> we could probably find a pig. big heifer. <laughs> I'd settle for I don't know, dear, one of those dogs. All right, let's get this guy a dog. I mean, he might be able to move something, right? Well, it's going to be a big dog. Oh, hey, they're what, plenty like a big. Cow? They're plenty big, don't worry. Yeah, the sported, the sported dogs that go moo. That's a cow. Yeah, oh, yeah I told right. you, I... mate. A full fucking cow. We can't afford this, mate. Well, what, what do you mean afford? I mean, surely there's probably, you know, people are running to the hills. There's probably some abandoned farms. Oh, mate, we passed through an abandoned section of this fucking town. And... Oh, my God. It's you! Oh, for hey! Fuck's sake, you're out again. Hey, oh my god, Holy I, I never thought I'd see you again. And here you are. That's insane. Destined. What are you doing here, Glammilla? What happened to Clamtopia? Oh, well, Clamtopia really went to shit after you guys left. And, uh, well, uh -oh. you know, I kind of realized that Prophet Avery was a bit of a dick and he was kind of running a cult. So, like, I left and I came all the way out here and I finally decided, like, I'm going to set myself free. 
Nice. How's Ooh. that been working out? <clears throat> well, I came here and then there was this guy like Radiant Mike and he seemed like he really understood the real world. So I'm joining up with him. Uh, you can Mate. call me oh. Dirty Clam Miller now. Yeah, Dirty I'm your I'm your superior, mate. Oh, well, how you you guys just got here? Yeah, well, guess what? I came to this island with Mike. We go way back, bro. Oh well, I mean, if you could put in a good word for me, I'm really trying to uh, climb the ranks. Your, you got your dog, mate. My dog? No, oh, my no. All don't, right. Don't talk to me about that. <laughs> Mate, listen. Hey. I was just going to suggest that you give me a dog so I can feed it to that troll. You killed my dog. <laughs> I, wait. I, <laughs> Are you fucking lunatic. You punched him in the face. You fucking killed it. I it kicked him in the face, bro. It, I kicked him with me boot. It couldn't breathe after that. <laughs> Dick laughs at it. <laughs> Chuck, do something about this deranged loony. <laughs> Dick, that was very bad. Yeah, mate, I totally am sorry for what happened. There you go. He's he's fixed. <laughs> it's not going to bring my dog back. Would you per chance eat a person? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I was not supposed to eat people. They kind of look like me. Makes me real sad. Oh, but I won't tell anyone. Oh, oh no. Dick, you kind of do look like that troll. Fine, we'll get you the <laughs> dog. Oh, it's not, it can't just be one dog. I'm not going to follow you around unless we'll you've got... We'll get us a few dogs, okay? ...a reliable food source. I'm starving over here, mate. Hey, yeah, we all are, mate. Okay. All right. Hey, uh, dirty clam we'll find you some food, big fella, okay? All right. Hey, Dirty Clamilla, how'd you get here so easily? You know, there's a lot of flesh beasts and horrible apocalypse shit going on. Oh, uh, well, you, how'd you mm. get here? <coughs> Sorry, there's something in my throat. Uh, well, actually, like, oh. that only happened kind of recently, and I came here a while ago. And then all this crazy stuff started happening, and I'm so lucky Radiant Mike was here to explain <sighs> it all to me because I didn't understand. So, I gotta ask, what did Prophet Avery do exactly? I mean, like, he was definitely trying to get real handsy. Oh, yeah. Well, no, <laughs> yeah, after, I got those vibes. after you guys left, uh, he kind of went back into the cave and he was thinking, like, I don't know, he's like, acting like this tough loner kind of guy and he came back from the cave and he was all like, playtime's over. And he started getting <laughs> real serious and doing like all these weird rituals, and, like <clears throat> making circles out of poop and stuff. <laughs> yeah, he said that he wanted the ocean to rise up and swallow the world. Mm. Yeah, mm. see, guys, I told you I invaded his mind. Yeah, man, you did a good thing by doing that, bro. I did do that. So and you did a good thing by hurting that dog. <laughs> <laughs> we all did something fuck, good guys? back there. <laughs> what the fuck? I thought you were on my side, Chuck. <laughs> well, slap about Chuck it. across the face. Ow! Slaps back. <laughs> oh my god! I, he just, did you I'm all so see? Did you see? He just hit me! He hit me! You hit me first! You hit me first! You put hands on the first Someone fault, do but... something! She falls on the shot. floor and starts oh, making like no snow here. angels. No. Come on, mate. You can't be doing that. Oh, you can't be doing that, mate. Bitch. Come on, there. Just oh, get, get up. up. Get right. up, mate. Oh. Listen, I'll, I will tell Radiant Mike on you, mate. I'm just getting dirtier. Yeah, hey, that's right. Oh, that's... <laughs> fucking rolling this, rolling the fucking oh. mud. Kicks dirt on her. <laughs> Thank you for the blessing. <laughs> You're okay. welcome, mate. Hey, it's, it, it's good Oi. to see that since I've been dead, nothing has changed. Oi, Clamilla, you remember? Uh, you know we's missing one fellow, mate. The tall, handsome lad, Roy. Oh right, yeah. Uh, Have you seen Dilliard? No, I haven't seen him. Oh, I thought you were talking about me. Has he not been through <laughs> here, like, at all? I mean, I've seen who I've seen, and I haven't seen him. I don't know what you want from me. That's all we wanted, mate. Get the back to work. Question. Back to work? Oh, okay. Yeah, get, getting dirty, mate. Feel free. Yeah, I mean, get real dirty. If you could, like, help and spit on me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> 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 
glad to like watch for a while and then shrug and then join in. Oh yes, <laughs> blessings to the progenitor. What a glorious yeah. day! <laughs> oh God, hey, Hilbert, Hilbert, we gotta get you there. to a doctor. <laughs> Bring me over there, helmet. Uh, Killbuck's head will just start spitting on her. Where's this that coming from? Kind of <laughs> weird, but it feels right. I, I'm not really sure how this works, but I'm just going to kind of roll with it. And so, Strippin was banned the day before his subathon. <laughs> Perfect. All right, mate. I, I what are don't we think... doing with this troll? Hey, mate, we ain't doing shit with this fucking troll, bro. I, I'm, you know what? I'm going to hire him. Okay, get a fucking pig then, mate. Go find a pig. Fine. I will. <laughs> I'm going to go off to... So you can do whatever you want. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> okay, what It'll is everyone else doing? Uh, I'm trying to hit up that fucking... Actually, I don't know if I want anything from this blacksmith. Okay, we have uh, shops here that have uh, very few things in these shops. And also inside the tavern has a map. Um, a map a map a couple folks in the tavern uh if chuck is looking oh. around for animals he would see in this person's backyard down to the south uh do oh, nice let me get it let me make it real let me make your fantasy a reality right yeah. now yeah make it real for me daddy come on <laughs> Woo! I have no idea where the token is. Is anyone else doing anything while I look for it? Uh, let's just go in the tower for now. What's Helmet's armor yeah. like? What's his armor? Good. Your armor's good. Yeah, it's halfway decent. I was looking at that one in the shop, see if you needed it. Mm -hmm. But I don't think you do. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good. Okay, give me one second. <laughs> What the frick? What the fricky? What the frickle frack? Frickle frack. Frickle frack. Is that, isn't that the setting of Fraggle Rock? What's yeah. Fraggle Rock? You don't know what Fraggle Rock is? No. Isn't that a Canadian oh, show? You is it? No. Was it? Uh, I don't know, but uh, it was by the guy who made the Muppets. <clears throat> Was it? Uh, Jim Henderson, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pure, yeah. Jim Morrison. Yeah. The only pure Jim Morrison. Show everyone talks about is Degrassi, and I haven't seen that either. I've seen a couple episodes of Degrassi. It was fucking awful. <clears throat> yeah. Wheelchair. Wheel, is like wheel uh, is Sesame great. Street, but it's a musical. Uh, the group okay. enters a small tavern inside of Leyloon, the main town proper. Uh, large crowds can be seen gathering in here as well. Some of them standing around trying to eat what scraps can be provided because the town as a whole is uh, at a little bit of a food shortage with all of the people here that normally wouldn't be. Uh, you see one individual sitting to your left at the table and <laughs> one that you may remember from before as well, Yankim from the boat, who is a witch hunter. Yankim? <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy you tried to make Gilliard fight. Like, perhaps we should split up and see if anyone's seen Gilliard. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to this mustachioed fellow. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what this guy looks like, so what am I asking about? Um, well, kill the fuck knows. <laughs> Helmet will look down at the head. Yeah, yes, I can describe him somewhat accurately. There you go, she'll like pat the suit of armor. On the back. Mm, okay. Hey, get well. to it. Oi. Oh. Hey there, traveler. What can I help you with here? Mate, I'm looking for a uh, early 20s, self-assured, uh, sharply handsome fellow with a, a pen champ for taking no nonsense, mate. Uh, everyone's looking for someone now. You can't be a little more specific than that. A lot of people have come through here. Uh, he's got, he's kind of got like a hawk's nose. Uh, he's thin lips. Are you wearing anything? Oh yeah, he's wearing like, uh... No, naked armor. <laughs> it's like, it's like plate armor, mate. He's plate armor. He's got a big fucking sword. Uh... Two big 
two-hander, mate. Uh, he's not with uh, the consulate, is he? No, mate. Well, he might be now. Actually, I don't know. No, we we, we was in the Aegis Order together before it got, uh... Oh, you fuckers. Are you kidding me? Mate, mate, listen. Let's listen, just listen. Say, let, say let, it. Let, what do you got let, to let, say? You say let, it. Let's just say they're dead now, <clears throat> and it ain't not because of us. <laughs> I haven't even the clue what that means, but you <laughs> fuckers were supposed to be here a month ago, Mate. and now shit's gone to hell. This town's been taking a beating long before these fucking meatballs came out of the sky. Oi. Oi, what? Oh, who am I talking to, mate? The mayor. Can you keep a fucking secret, bro? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, mate. What? <laughs> Come in a little bit closer, mate. I don't mean to be rude, or or maybe I do, <laughs> but I don't really want to get that much closer to you there, friend. Dick leans forward in the chair, uh, his rotten breath <sighs> hot on the mayor's ear. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> we killed the, the order, mate. All of them. We extracted your righteous vengeance, bruv, and we did it because they went doing nothing, mate. The whole time we was there, like four months, five months, mate, some shit. They're dead now, and we did it, mate. Uh, processing. <laughs> His face is shocked and confused, and maybe there even... Was there, there, were, there was bandits, mate. At the end of the day, that's why they never came, mate. So we took them out. I... Can you even prove that you're really from there? This sounds like total bullshit now. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, not me, not me in particular, man. I, I didn't actually... The, the armor was a bit not well suited for me, bruv. But I mean, I, I knew the captain, you know, the the fucking librarian and you, you i mean i collected taxes with me friend back there the redhead bruv like almost every day in fact oh no mate i mean how could i pre you think i got so, like a so what you're implying to me let me get this straight you you're responsible yeah. for the hell that we're living in now <laughs> That's not what I said, mate. <laughs> well, then how does this meteor thing connect with anything you're telling me? Seems like you're leaving out a mate, bit of information. If you're, uh, you're, you got nothing to do with that, huh? All right, listen. All right. I'm going to tell you straight up. All right. Uh, first of all, me and me friends were the only ones running actual errands for the fucking Aegis Order, as far as I'm aware. Guess what? We go down to the basement one day, you know, months after we joined up. And there's a fucking giant flesh beast down there, mate. And it's just fucking growing in soys. You tell me this whole time, these these fuckers at the age of sort of didn't even think to clean out their basement. And the whole time, this whole freaking bomb, I guess, media is growing down there, mate. They didn't even send us down there to fucking take care of it. They had no idea, mate. Or did Talk they? Shit, King. Or yes. did they know? <sighs> Roy? It's so, fucking uh, look, sad that I believe if what you're telling me is the Aegis Order is that incompetent, because that adds up. Yeah, mate. Well, see, what I'm what I'm employing is that maybe they did know, right? But anyway, me and my mates, we fucking ran. <laughs> we got out of there, bro. And well, then it blew up. How'd you live from a thing like that? Well, we got out just in time, mate. Uh, we, we got splattered with blood. And also, we had to fight our way back. And we killed, I don't know, fucking 20 of those things or whatnot. Well, let me ask you this. Here's, here's what it's going to come down to. What's your angle? Nothing, man. I was just... I, just, didn't want you just, to be, I, didn't, I didn't want you to be mad at me, man. Yeah, you're, just, you're, you <laughs> you're just starting a conversation telling me that... Oh, You oh, did yeah. all of this. You killed the Aegis Order. Like, what's the... What's hey, look, the point? Mate, I, look, I ain't had a chance to to really talk about it with anyone up until right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, honestly, I'm kind of, I'm processing everything that's happened in the last fucking week. You one of those fucking dirty, dirty motherfuckers? Uh, no, mate. 
<laughs> he <lies. laughs> He's like the dirtiest guy you've ever seen. He lies out loud. <laughs> Listen here, pal. Listen. And he'll get close this time. <laughs> After the consulate's done dealing with all this bullshit, and we can finally turn our gaze back to you psychos taken up in the church, you'd better be out of here. <laughs> we can't all deal right. with your shit now, and you're taking advantage, and we all see it. But once we got a little bit more reinforcements out here, you better be gone, pal. Mate, all right. I'm going to tell you part two of a secret. Oh, all he right. fucking... Yeah, 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 ma yeah, mate. All right. Oi, you know anything about a troll about roughly northwest of here lives in a fucking hut shack? Do I know about a fucking troll in a hut? Yeah, maybe, yeah, mate. maybe yeah, a yeah, month ago... <laughs> when we were asking the Aegis Order for help, because our children were being stolen by trolls, what? maybe I know something about it. Uh, is it multiple trolls? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? We don't count them. Mate, anyway. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry about your kids. Whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> anyway, what? What was, what was the point? What are you telling Mate, me? Listen, all right. We was in the edge of sort of, I infiltrated Duffield folk, all right? And I learned that Wait, all you, you infiltrated the what? The Phil folk. Oh, because, yeah, you fit right in. You definitely yeah. haven't been with them. <laughs> oh, you, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to tell you, mate. You believe me or not, all right? Northwest of here is a troll and a hot or some shit. As I learned from Radiant Moig, I'm sure you know him, is responsible for all these flesh media somehow, some way. Me and me friends, gonna walk up there, gonna put a bullet right in his big fucking walk covered forehead, bruv. No, I don't believe you. All right, well, I don't we'll believe that you're gonna do anything about it. <laughs> Matt, well, look. Asked me two days ago, mate. I wouldn't have done anything about it, but I've had a bit of an epiphany. What changed? The man I love. It's a harlot. <laughs> it's a harlot, mate. I. Every time you say something new, I don't see how these dots are connecting. Uh, look, I've I've gay. Like you're gonna think you're gonna think I'm a fucking psycho, mate. I I don't know. I can't, I can't describe it. Yeah, <laughs> under normal circumstances, I'd say you'd be getting dragged out of here and your fucking face smashed in. Yeah, but guess what? Two giant medias, they are spawning all sorts of creepy fucking flesh creatures are rocking around now. Everything ain't quite as normal as it seems, is it, bruv? That's the only thing you've said that's made any sense. Right, oi. Uh... I just got one favor for all that information. Oh, right. you want a favor from me? Oh, it, it's not going to cost you nothing. All right. Yeah. Have you have you seen the goy I just explained to you, mate? Described. I I haven't seen. No, I couldn't say I have. All right. Uh, I Lloyd, I got another favor to <sighs> ask if you if you could, mate. All right. Well, how about this? Let me hear from you first. All right. How loyal are you to this Aegis Order you you apparently helped blow up? Zero, mate. <laughs> Zero, mate. Zero. So then what has you come into Leiloon now? All this time passed after we asked for help. Yeah. And now you want to go after the trolls in the north. Well, I mean, I could... I could explain it if you'd like. It's a bit... Petty. <laughs> now that I'm, I'm, I'm rolling over at me, uh, me gone. Well, at least you know. Yeah. So, all right. I was in love with Radiant Mike. All right. We we came here on a big boat that ended up sinking. Right. Uh, Radiant Mike went on his merry way. Northwise. Uh, found out that some of the things he likes to do, some of the things he likes to say, something are, the, are things that he likes to do with a lot of folk, right? And Radiant Mike whispered a lot of truths to me. So I thought, offered me a lot of things, instructed me to do certain things, mate. And every single time, I nearly died. Didn't get much in the way of reciprocation from him. 
uh, and upon meeting him again, after escaping me near death multiple times with me lads, uh, I came to realize he really don't go give a shit about me, mate. You know, and I've never, I've never known the touch of a woman or a man, really. I mean, extended touch. <laughs> oh, so, fuck. You, well, you, hey, you, how come we don't just kill Radiant Mike then? We can't kill him yet, mate. Why not? He's got too many people with him, all right? Too many folk. There's a lot of them. I'm sure you've seen him. He's your he, lover. He, he's not me lover, mate. <laughs> he, he hasn't even put out, bro. He's, he's stringing me along. Well, can't you, he like, know, lure that fucking psycho somewhere where we can all just gang up on him? I tried. <laughs> I tried. He, 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 he's, he's anticipating something, mate. Uh... He's anticipating it. <laughs> well, he knows everyone in this town wants to kick his ass and isn't following his stupid fucking dirty gospel. Yeah. Seems like he's in quite the uh, predicament, mate. <laughs> yeah. So you had another <laughs> favor? Oh, yeah. Uh, when, 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 supposing that the consulate ain't wiped out, or at least the, the detachment that they sent out, mate, as a result of the second media that landed behind their encampment, mate. Don't know if you saw that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw they, it. When they come here, mate, tell them that Dick Clifford and his merry band of adventurers went northwest to kill the troll that did all this. Dick Clifford. Yep, that's went me. To, went to kill the troll. The the evil media summoning troll. If even a small fraction of what you're saying is true, yeah. I'll hold out hope that you can actually do something about it. So ironic oh. that this all would have been solved if you just showed up. I don't know. Oi, that's the captain's fault, not mine. I couldn't do anything, mate. Oh, your, hand, your hands were tied then, huh? Yeah. All right, well, I'll leave you to your drink, mate. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah, thanks for listening, mate. <laughs> he backs up <laughs> into the crowd. <laughs> his his head falls down into both of his hands, scratching it, still trying to figure out what to make of that long monologue <laughs> and what he can even do about it. Uh, Flaherty, what are you up to? Well, 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 long time no see. Oh, if it isn't the Dolahan from the boat. I, look, I know we got off on the wrong foot, but uh, do you mind if I sit? Oh, of course. Take a seat. How are you doing? Uh, finding it quite strange. It seems like everyone from that boat keeps seeing him pop up here and there. Oh, he, you haven't seen Gilead, have you? Gilead, um... No. He was like the one that looked like he didn't belong put I, together. I seen Armor. Margaret, saw her traveling, saw the uh, obviously Radiant Mike man over there. Uh huh. Um, I think that's it. Gilliard, the one that couldn't smile, never smiled. Mm, haven't seen him. Couldn't grow facial hair, nothing. Uh, you like know, baby's you know now that you mentioned it. I saw the deckhand roll up in Port Town too. Port Town, uh, to the south. Yeah, yeah, it seems, uh, it's kind of strange, but only the captain actually died on that. Who? Yeah, actually. I mean, now that I've seen your group show up, you were one of the, you know, the big contingents of people. Hadn't really been, uh, accounted for, but oh, seeing I'm everybody okay, pop except, back up. Um, except Kelfuck, but he's seen better days. I didn't, uh, didn't spend too much time learning your names. Sorry about that. Oh, he's the one over there. She's gonna point to, like, this, the, that head on a string. Oh, that's sad fate for a man. Well, you know, he, he's glass half full kind of guy. Mm. Where are you taking the skull? I'm trying to find Gilliard. But if you haven't seen him, he's probably in the south. Oh, yeah, I figure if you're asking around here and no one's seen him, then he probably uh, never made it this far up. You haven't been on the roads recently, have you? I was doing some traveling, trying to figure out my own shit, and then, well, 
giant flesh balls. You know how it goes. Hey, so you you haven't traveled since the flesh balls? No, unfortunately got uh, landlocked here in Leilun. Not too sure I want to walk up past the consulate in case they've got some random beef they've made up with me. You know, the consulate are pretty pissed at us as well for basically no reason. Well, you can kind of expect that with them sometimes. Never know what's going to set them off. Unbelievable. Right, well, we're, um, we're going to try and make it for the southern port then. Yeah, so, uh, just for real. Yeah, but I think we'll go we'll go around the woods. You're trying to get on that boat. Way. What? Uh, one of the big steel Titan boats pulled into port, apparently. It might be the when? actually only chance you're going to get to get off the island for a while. Oh. Right, okay. And Gilead's probably on that boat. When does it leave? I haven't a fucking clue. Kind of cut off because, you know, the whole flesh thing. Right. Okay, well, it was nice catching up with you. Yeah. And uh, don't die. Trying to keep my wits about me. Take care of yourself. Right, anything? Dick. Dick. Helmut. He said he was AFK. <laughs> Dick R. Oh. Anything, Kelfak? Uh, well, uh, we haven't had a chance to. You haven't even wonder. bloody looked, have you? Uh, well, I, I don't really have the option to move around very much. I thought you... Helmet! Hel helmet is asleep. She's gonna flick the helmet. <laughs> Wake up, you bastard! Uh, you, you find what you're looking for? You're supposed to be helping! Uh, listen, lady, I don't really know... Who's this... Who's this bloke we're looking for? Gilead? Gilead? You so you do know? Well, yeah. You've been saying his name the whole time. Uh, listen, uh, well, did you find anything? You'd probably be a better job at finding it than I would. No, he's not here. Uh, well, then, I guess me looking wouldn't have really helped, would it? Well, it might have. Nobody's asked those. Uh, Helmet will look over here. Uh, um... Oh, no, go ask. Come kill fuck. You ask while I wake up, deck his eyes have rolled back mate, again. I'm here, I'm here, mate. She'll slap his face. Ooh. Oh, sorry, mate. Wake I was up, you bastard. Head ready at Mike's supple cheeks in me mind. What's going on? Down we fella all. from the boat's not seen Gilead either. Oh, mate. I think we gotta go south, mate. He <laughs> said there's a big ship that's pulled into the port. Oh, uh, what sort of ship, bruv? <laughs> big steel ship. Oh, my. Fancy. He said it might be the only way to get away. Wait, um, it, it pulled into the, the southern port town, mate. Aye, aye. All right. Um, Helmet will tap Flary on the shoulder. Um, yes, Helmet. Did you, uh, did anybody talk to that guy over there? Oh, boy. This guy right that, over here. That's <laughs> mate, the consulate, get done. Mate. Mate, yeah, mate. We should talk to that guy, mate. <laughs> we should... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Deck. Yeah. They're not after Helmet. They're just after us. Maybe he could ask about Gilliard. All right. Yeah. Oi. Hey, but if he has a snake, mate, turn around, bro. I can't see from here. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, Helmet, if you see a snake, just get the fuck out, okay? Just excuse yourself, mate. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go wait outside while you do this. Okay, okay. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. Uh, Helmet will trudge over here. Oh, good eye, Cobber. How you doing? Oh. What do you need? Oh, well, I was looking for a, uh, a bloke named uh, Gilead. Have you seen him? Apparently, he's very handsome. Oh, this guy. Fucking Gilead. Are you serious? Oh, you have heard of him. Yeah. Um, well, where'd you see him? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I tell... What's so important about this guy? Seriously. Who gives um, a fuck about Gilead? Um, <laughs> that's what I've been saying the whole time. Uh, <laughs> calm down. Um, well, uh... 
some of my mates wanted to find him and uh, I guess uh, ask him some questions. I'm not really sure. I've, I've fallen in here to sleep when they start talking about it. It's very boring, you know? Well, I uh, came out from a scouting patrol coming down from uh, Port City, came up north, combing Port through City, the forest, okay. seeing how bad the right. situation is. Okay. Uh, there's a small fort on the top of the hill right before you get down in the city. Uh, okay. I guess I shouldn't say if you're uh, one of his pals, I guess, but uh, yeah, the upper echelon took a liking to him for reasons I can't figure out, and uh, kind of just, if you ask me, been a little bit too nice to him. Okay, so he's there at yeah. the fort. Yeah, he's at the okay. fort. Okay, okay, at the fort, got it. Okay, thank you. I think that's all the information we wanted. Uh huh. Um. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's, that's I, if you could, um, if you could entertain me with this, please. Like, who, who yeah. is Gilliard to you? Who is this guy? Um, to me, nothing. I don't even know the guy. Um, he's just sort of, uh, you know, me mates were like, "Well, we got to find Gilliard." Um, and I was like, "Okay, you know, I want to play. Uh, along. Be a good yeah. sport." I tell you, I've been um, in the consulate a long time, and uh, I ain't uh, get those kind of promotions. Uh, kill fuck, kill fuck was a wolf. I knew him. We, we were work associates, and uh, uh, we've reasons we want to find him. You know this, that, and the other thing. But thank you very much for your assistance. Uh, we we have been looking for him. The man continues sitting there and doesn't really seem to notice that Killfuck is talking. <laughs> uh? <laughs> well, well, uh, may as well continue onwards, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, thank you for your time. Oh yeah, take Dick, care, man. Been talking for ages. Do you think that he's arrested? Nah, mate, he's all right. He's a big um, boy. Uh, and helmet will waddle out. Band him. Meanwhile, <laughs> on the outskirts of the farm, Chuck has noticed it's some big pigs. I think this is an AFK god moment. Is he AFK gone? <laughs> Meanwhile, inside the tavern. We're outside the tavern. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside. directly outside of the tavern. Beyond him. I know where he is. Like, All right, where, him, mate? Uh, I think he's here to a play a fort. Uh, fort City, I think was the name of it. How have you um, forgotten already? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a lot to remember around here. Oh, There's yeah, places 15 and seconds people. ago. I, the, it's Port City, I think. I think it's the name of it. So Wait, just is that a fort in the Port City? No, 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 no. A, a, a fort nearby Port City, and apparently he's doing real well for himself. What do you mean? Well, he's gotten a promotion, and that bloke in there wasn't too Promo happy about it. He joined the consulate! He made it. We can't. He, he's in a fucking What the fuck are we going to do, Deck? I don't know, mate. We can't walk into a fucking consulate fort asking for his help, Maybe we can, though. Boy. Well, maybe they've just... Uh, there's so much shit going on and everybody's dead. Maybe they've just forgotten. <laughs> what if we but, say you know, we're really, really... We stand really, out, you know, Dick. Really, and he, really, that guy didn't notice us at all. Really sorry about everything that we did. I we could apologize. Maybe Gilead can put a good word in for us. Ooh, there's an idea. You know, mate, what we could do is we could walk up to that lackey and start steal talking to him. his armor. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> we, I mean, we could steal his armor too, mate. That's good. I mean, look, all right. If he, it, maybe he recognizes. I mean, we could take one consulate lackey, right? We could just kill him <laughs> if he decides to get, you know, violent. Yeah. Absolutely, right, we can take that him. would definitely make us more well, criminals than well, already we are. But well, it, it, we need to find out if they know who we are, mate. <clears throat> and if they don't know who we are, then we have a chance to go to this fort. Perhaps talk to Gilead, maybe convince him to come back with us, take care of the problem. All right, right? I've got an idea. We don't have to talk to him. Yeah. Why don't we just stand near him and see if he, like, is <laughs> weird? <laughs> All right. So what are we going to do, run? <laughs> if he starts coming at us, mate? Oh, well, deck him if he gets weird, but we'll know if he knows us or not based right. on if he looks. All right. All right. Let's go, or mate. We could show up and just say that we look like people that he knows, but he doesn't actually know us. 
Did you guys try to get me? Sorry, I had coffee for the first time in a week and it fucked my stomach up. Yeah, meanwhile, oh, yeah. Chuck on the outskirts <laughs> oh, of the okay. town. Sorry, I'm Many sorry. exciting things have been going on, but Chuck has located a pen of several big pigs behind the How farmer's house. How does this house. pig have 23 sanity? <laughs> this pig has more sanity than I do. <laughs> All right, okay. You, Chuck has seen some stuff, man. <laughs> I guess. Pig's got a good life, man. Yeah. Mm. All right. Um, <laughs> come here. A man comes running out of the back of the house. Hey, what are you doing to my pigs? <laughs> oh, well, well. And what is your name, sir? Please don't mind fuck this guy. My name's Jim, and these are my pigs. <laughs> I know no, y'all are hungry, not. but we need these pigs for my family. Well, Jim, you listen to me. I work with the consulate, okay? And due to the recent uh, outbreak your badge? that we're show having. Show your badge. <laughs> I'll show you a badge if flips off. <laughs> hey, right. get the fuck out of here. And he'll, he'll hey, rear hey, back hey. to throw a punch at your face. Uh, Dodge. You roll dexterity or uh, mobility. Okay. All Good right. luck. Thank you. Uh, misc. Okay. Uh, mobility? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> oh. Ow. A poor, poor, poor dodge catches you clean in the nose, <laughs> cracking your glasses. Okay. <laughs> Get okay. the fuck right. out of okay. here. Okay, just hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, shows him, shows him bird ring that I have. <laughs> okay, you he, see this he asshole? Looks down, spits at the floor, and goes over to this axe in the wood. I ain't fucking playing around, pal. There's just no talking to this guy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. There's uh, gonna be a problem if you don't get out of here. Use his cover story. <laughs> uh, do you have enough sanity? I think you do. Yeah, I do. I do. I only got minus two. Uh, what is the lie that you're telling him? So what I was trying to say before this fucking deranged <laughs> psychopath just started attacking me. You flipped him off. You did. I did flip him off. I did. Uh, but he came at me hot. But he is a farmer, so I understand. Uh, <laughs> the town is starving. Okay. You're after I get it. I get it. So as I was trying to say, uh, I'm with the consulate, okay, due to the recent outbreak, uh, we are doing a mandatory livestock uh, inspection. Livestock and <sighs> what do you need to see? Uh, well, I'm just going to have to test. Uh, I'm just going to have to take a look at your pigs here, sir. Have you noticed any abnormalities with these pigs or anything strange? Any like growths? Anything? Yeah, anything like that. Anything strange? Mm -hmm. Well, good old honey bun over here has been acting a little bit weird. Uh, not too sure why. Hasn't been strange eating. Strange how. Will Hasn't not been eating, eat huh? anything. No matter what I do. Nothing, huh? Yep. Uh, why don't you get honey bun to look at you? Look at look, huh? Yep. <laughs> want you he, he's want becoming more skeptical. Why, why does the consulate need to come here and look at my pigs? Trust me, just tickle tickle Honey Bun's belly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just tickle the belly, sir. This is very important that we do this. Have you seen the flesh beasts? How is tickling a belly? A it's fucking consulate. <laughs> Come here. He'll, he'll reach a hand under and try and tickle his pig's belly. I... Uh. <laughs> you, you doing anything while he's he's tickling? I'm watching. Okay, he'll, he'll finish tickling it and he'll stand back up and do like the most aggressive shrug at you. You happy? You see how it didn't? You see how it didn't react? Yeah. That's not normal. That's a bad pig. <laughs> Man, these things, these things so fat they can barely feel it. That's normal. No, look, at, no. look at how you're dressed. You ever raised a pig in your life? I'll, you know, I'll have you know. 
flips over this pig. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> and, hey! It, it tickles its belly aggressively. <laughs> Leave alone! Leave oats alone! <laughs> Just look at oats. Look at oats. <laughs> <laughs> Tickles pig aggressively. Hey, hey, I'm going to think you're not with the console at all. This is fucking I'm, weird. It's not weird, sir. Okay, now listen, you got any kids in there? Kids? Whoa! <laughs> in the house, not in the pig. <laughs> got two kids. Now, do you want these pigs to turn Four? into giant... Oh. See? Now that's normal. That's what a pig's supposed to do. This I, other pig is I no want to be able to feed my kids and my family. So if you're coming here to take my pigs, I don't know if I'm going to put up with it anymore. You Look, fuckers uh, been letting these dirty people <laughs> up on the hill take over the church and do all this. You're going to come and take my pigs before you deal with that. I'll have you know that the trolls are not taking anything over. The what? Jesus. What do you mean by dirty people? <laughs> oh, you mean... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I get it's it. It's a okay. full-blown <laughs> cult in the church. <laughs> Look, and we're handling that, okay? But oh, first, no, you're not. Listen, yes, we are. Listen, we just have you to listen make to sure. me. He'll, he'll raise no, the axe up on his shoulder. I'm whoa, about whoa, whoa. to join that cult. You're going to come <laughs> in here and take my pigs. I'm done with this consulate bullshit. Okay, how much for the pig? The defective <laughs> one. <laughs> how much you got? Well, I have... <laughs> Very special consulate potion. Shows alchemist potion. <laughs> <laughs> What's that to me? What does this thing do? Uh, this is, uh, you, have you seen the flesh beasts? One or two of them? This potion, when you throw it down, will destroy all flesh beasts within a hundred foot radius. Then how the hell have you fuckers not dealt with this stuff yet? It's being dealt with, sir. Honestly. Consulate. All this shit we do for you guys, you can't even destroy a giant flesh meteor. Uh, sir, trust me, it is being dealt with, okay? You just, you just don't understand. We have to... We think that the no, flesh beasts no, are coming from understand. these farm animals. I don't understand why you're coming in here. You're tickling my pigs. That's weird. That's weird. It's very Offering me work. potions? Well, uh, the console's got so much money and you're going to offer me a, a potion. You can get okay. out of here. I don't want any of this. Leave me and my pigs alone. That pig is going to eat you and your family. You've made a grave mistake. Now before we <laughs> eat them, mistake. we're going to eat them. Flips off again. <laughs> Trips on brush on way. <laughs> mm, come here, come here, little OG. Won't hurt you. All right. Uh, what was the rest of the group doing now? We're just gonna wait, talk wait, wait. loudly with each other near the consulate guy. Okay, Chuck, you can show up in the tavern if you want. All right. That didn't take long, and they've been doing a lot. I'll move you. In. <sighs> Well, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> hey, any Chuck. progress? Where have hey, you been? Chuck. I was fighting with a farmer and tickling some pigs. <laughs> oh, you little pig tickler, eh, man? I'll be, I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, we. I need you there. guys to help me with this afterward. This guy. <laughs> what tickling this a pig? You got. I'm gonna tell you guys all about I it. Now, you should this... tickle a hog in your own time. Uh, you guys are <laughs> look. I, you got. I'll tell you guys all about it when we leave here. This fucking farmer is ridiculous. He said he's gonna single-handedly destroy the cult on the hill. All right. Just we gotta it. stop him. No, yeah, we mean, gotta stop this guy. We don't have to stop him, mate. Yeah, I don't well, think we, we have to stop him. Perhaps, perhaps we should <laughs> help him. He, he, the, punched he, he punched me. He punched me. Oh, he broke your glasses, mate. Yeah, he punched me. Don't you guys care? You know, yeah. Chuck, I, I got a question for you. Yeah. How often do you get punched in the face? Just ballpark it. I don't know. Every time we go to any town. <laughs> that's, that's <about> right. Okay, <laughs> it's what I thought. <laughs> you employ and you got punched in the face for a reason, mate. I, I didn't say that. I just was saying <laughs> it was just a question. <laughs> 
I, no one deserves to be punched for no reason. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no reason, okay. <laughs> hey, what's up with that guy? He looks weird. Oh, he's a consulate member, mate. Aren't you not oh, fuck. Thing to say we gotta get out of here. Yeah, well, mate, mate, mate. <laughs> We, oh we my should. god, they're gonna find out wait. what we've done! <laughs> wait, sh calm down. Uh, yeah, Jesus yeah, we Christ, mate, we gotta mate. get the fuck out of here! Chuck, 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 Chuck relax. <laughs> Chuck, breathe. We, we, we's just doing a little test, mate. If it recognizes us, then we can't go and find Gilly. We gotta do something else, mate. What? Like what? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. Well, but if he does recognize us, we're fucked. Mate, we like, can fuck it. We can take him, mate. It's all right. Yeah, you guys want to take him right now? No, mate. Come on, let's do it. Hey, Ideally. use lock, clear it out, will you? <laughs> I cannot take him. <laughs> oh, just watch us take him, man. I can, I can take him here. Helmet, just throw me at him. You want me to throw you at him? Yeah, just, yeah, just, just throw me at him. I can do it. Um, you guys want me to just throw the head at him? No, mate. We, we're, we're just doing a test to see if he recognizes us, mate. All right. Oh, okay. Well, if you do need me, I just toss me in there. Why don't Boy, we just go talk to him? Dick hobbles up to fly her to you. Oi, lass, may I have this dance? <laughs> oh, I would be honored. There's no music playing. <laughs> Whistles and slaps <laughs> legs so they can dance. <laughs> we dance like a, um, an uncomfortably close to the consulate. Uh... Helmet will ham bone on his armor. Dick struggles to dance because of his club foot and horrible disfigurement You're elsewhere. Doing You're doing great. <laughs> he definitely oh, yeah, mate. he definitely looks and notices the commotion, but kind of just goes back to drinking. Flatsy will stop. There's no fucking way he recognizes us. Yeah, mate. Let's get out of here, bro. Oh, <laughs> hey, All we're right. good boys. Uh, all right. All right, we we got a chance, mate. We should be, we should play careful, mate. Oh, I got an idea. Oi. Yeah. You got like, got like a, a like a sigil or like some kind of, I don't know. You got you give you got something you give people you give important tasks to so that you they can prove. That they're working for you, mate. Something. Um, like a like a you got like a wax stamp or something. You can... uh, this house is even weirder than the shit you were talking about before, mate. We got to go talk to the consulate, and I'd like to be able to present them with the information that maybe we's working for you, bro. <laughs> uh, consulate badge. Don't got one of those. Um. Otherwise, I think they'd just make you do an oath, man. All right. <sighs> All right. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Come back hard. here. Come back Whoa. here. Whoa. <laughs> the fuck are you asking that for? Mate, listen. You're kind of sus. Right. Mate, listen. Oh. All right. You, you oh. know all that shit I told you, bro? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay me heart out to you, mate. All right. Uh huh. Me and my friends, we's afraid we's gonna get blamed for what happened. All right. Uh, and you know the consulate; they can do the little truth reading and whatnot. So if we's made, I don't think they need any sort of truth powers. I think you're just gonna fucking blab. <laughs> well, look, let's get you there. Uh, maybe, all right. Uh, Dick, point is, who is this dickhead and why has he got such an attitude? I don't know, he's my friend, mate. Hey, hey I'm, <laughs> I'm the mayor, and your friend here came over, told me a lot of weird shit about I how you ever, all mate, mate. Oh, we were in the right age of disorder. Being a mayor of this shithole, mate. Oh, you I, really want to fucking go there because it wasn't well, a shithole before you ate his fuck. Disrespecting my friend, Dick. Yeah, fuck, Dick. <laughs> But, Fuck oh, you. I thought we was getting on, mate. I thought we was getting oh, on. You're all weirdos. Mate, it, we we hey. seen the, we seen the world, bruv. All right. Can you go <laughs> see it again? Can you can you go? <laughs> Oi. All right. Oi. All, all right. We've got too many problems here. I'm begging. 
We don't need this to escalate. Just fucking go. I, mate, we we'll leave for makers. some money. We're problem fixers. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to help you, mate. We Why give us something to fix and we'll fix it. Yeah. Uh, we're like, we solve mysteries. <laughs> I told your friend, um, it's kind of a, a psycho cult leader up at our church that I would really like dealt with. I, we're fixing that. How are, yeah. you, How are you fixing it? Mate, we we're all... We're gonna, gonna kill him. Yeah. Yeah, we Eventually. joined the cult. That's not what your pal said earlier. We're undercover. <laughs> oh, I said, I, I said I infiltrated yeah. it, mate. No, you yeah. thought you infiltrated it. Infiltrated it. Look at your face. Mate, You're the I've poster looked, child. Oh, <laughs> I he, look. always, he always looks like that. Like, yeah. He was dirty way before the cult was dirty. <laughs> he invented filth, really. <laughs> right. hmm. Look, you're just going to have to trust us, mate, or not. You, you don't lose anything by trusting us, uh, all right? Sanity. Yeah, perhaps. Look, we we's going to do what I said we was going to do, okay? I was just hoping maybe, since you're friendly with a consulate, you could give us a little something that we could show them where they maybe don't want to kill us right away. <laughs> well, that could be cool. And you're going to the consulate, why? To tell them get all of this. No, mate. We got a one of our friends joined the consulate. He's a he's a doughty warrior, mate. And we need him to take out the troll we, that's doing all this nonsense. Get rid of, Expensive way. The cult leader. We need our friend. So we need to get an audience with the consulate. And if you can help with that, then we can solve your problem. This rug is way too small for this room. <laughs> <laughs> Rugs are weird like that. Rugs be weird. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's what we're dealing with, mate. Uh, I don't think I can help you. They're oh, not going to take it? my word. You, they're they're okay. not going to listen to anyone. It's we unprecedented circumstances, right? All right. Uh, you got any tips then? I mean, you dealt with a consulate. Um, fuck. I, your situation, you guys are fucked. Yeah, be right. humble, be honest. <laughs> All and right. The he, 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 Here, if well, I'm gonna give you one work. tip, and then please, <laughs> please go. Focus on what you can provide to them. Don't apologize. Just, just think of the future, how you can help them, and what they want. All right. Because if you ain't helping them, they're done with you. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here, mate. Hey, yeah, guys. Can, do you think we could take a nap? I got punched pretty hard, and I'm. <laughs> I'm not feeling too good in the head, or maybe you guys could just leave me to rest or something. I don't know. We could take a we could take a night here. How pressing is our? How much? <laughs> I don't know I how mean, to he's, he's employed at the full. I don't think it's uh, like time sensitive anymore. Well, there's other things that might be time sensitive. Yeah, that's true. It sounded like it would take a while to get that. Bomb together. Well, not bomb, but the tell fucking you what, flush. Let's shit. go back in um to the place to see the guy and uh Chuck. Maybe you can sleep on the pews. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> saying, next combat, I'm fucked if I don't. <laughs> Mate, what happened? Negative here? sanity for like three fucking sessions. Chuck, you ain't looking so good, man. What happened? I mean, you got punched. I got punched. I feel great, mate. I don't. I got punched, and then Flaherty and I did something. <laughs> that was know, draining. And... Great since you put my head on that fucking uh, altar thing. Well, that's what I'm saying, you know. All right, let's go back then. All right. Um. All right, thank you. Here we go. Bye. Thank you for your time. All right, let's go, go to see church. Mike, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, church. Okay. Well, that was fucking pointless. <laughs> No, oh, did you guys check out, out these we shops? Found out where Gilead was? Yeah, it's like kind of the shops are like eh, nothing too good. Yeah. Uh, did I lose someone? Oh. Yeah. Meanwhile. Oh God. <laughs> Every time we change scenes, can we do the Super Friends transition where it's like? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. 
Meanwhile, in the <laughs> church, you enter to it stinking even more than before. A weird sludge ritual has been prepared. You can see that Dirty Clamilla is even helping smear a circle in the center of the room, where it appears Radiant Mike is intending for you all to stand as he helps you prepare a ritual to beg the progenitor to not allow the Cambians to eat you alive as you make your journey. Oi, Mike. Hey there, everyone. It's a pleasure to Oi. see you come back. I thought you might have left me for good. <laughs> nah, mate. We found out Gilead's at a fucking fort near uh, Port Town, bruv. Oh, fantastic news. Are you gonna go gut him? Yeah, well, That's see, the here's, here's the thing, mate. You know, everything he's doing stands in opposition to the consulate, right? I suppose one could look at it that way for sure. Uh, supposing we do this ritual, would it compromise our ability to get into the keep and maybe murder Gilead? <laughs> would they be able to, like, you know, like, sense it on us or whatever? Well, if there's a high enough ranking consulate officer, I'm pretty sure they may be able to notice any sort of weird filth magic going on with you guys. <laughs> All right, maybe we take a chances and don't do the ritual then. Well, why don't you just consider... And I know this might be a little bit of blasphemy. I apologize, Progenitor. Please forgive me. What if you bathed before you went in? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yes, we, we, idea. We, I hate bathing, but yeah, that's a good idea, mate. I've never done it. <laughs> yeah, you got a fucking two-year unbroken streak, mate. That's pretty good. I'm trying to keep it going the whole way. <laughs> I mean, when you say the whole way, like, how long is it? Like well, until, until my away. untimely demise. Well, there you go. Yeah, the last untimely. time I <laughs> last time I stepped into a ritual circle in a holy place like this in reference to a god, the campaign ended. <laughs> 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 Ooh, me too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that sounds scary. But I promise you, I won't end your campaign. <laughs> hey, there's definitely Whoa. no way it could happen a second time. <laughs> the odds are just crazy. Is this RP anymore, Suska? Dick turns around and pretends to throw a punch at Clamilla. <laughs> <laughs> ah, wh why? Yeah, st stand back. Okay. Right, come on then, helmet. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, uh... Hey, Mike, I, uh, I'm not feeling too great in the head. Uh, can you, like, add some extra filth on me to top off my sanity? <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> oh, God. Unfortunately, no. Please. Filth oh, is uh, kind of the physical form of the manifestation of being, while your mind, that's dealing with the occult. So, Mike, do we step inside? Oh, yes, absolutely. Once you're all ready to begin the ritual and you want to be cleansed of all of your worldly fears and, you know. Fuck it. Okay. Hey, is this going to be taxing mentally? Uh, as I said, uh, this is more of a primal ritual. Shouldn't affect the mind too much. Chuck, you're right, going to be it. fine. It's okay. Fuck it. All right, fuck it. Helmet, uh, come here. God, no, nah, you guys go on ahead. I, I don't really need to, you know, to be in here, do I? It's, to, it's to protect us on the road, and if you don't have it, and then we don't get protected, because you don't have it, then it's fucking for nothing. She's right. It's uh, again here. Yeah, she makes a good mm. point. All right, here I go. We can bathe in a river when we get back. Uh, is... Mm. Uh, can I come too? Can I be part of the ritual too? Yes, Kel of course, Kelfak. Hey, part Dirty of Clam, you went in on this? <clears throat> I wouldn't want to waste any of this magnificent filth ritual on such a new recruit who doesn't really need it. The power <laughs> will be diluted the more people that stand inside of this circle. It was designed oh, just okay. for you four. All right, so, but Kilfuck, you know, he's like one tenth of a person, mate. Will that mess it up? I'm pretty sure Kilfuck is dead. No, Wait, I'm right, I'm right here. What are you talking about? He also doesn't react to Killfuck saying anything. Well, are you guys ready? <laughs> you know, I'm starting to feel a little ignored. Here, so it's kind of rude, honestly. Look at Killfuck. They're looking at. Oh, hey, Mike. Mike, you can't hear Killfuck talking. Oh. I'm saying hello, Mike. Hello, I remember you from the boat. Oh goodness, I wish that I could hear him, but unfortunately, I can't. Wait, so Mike, does that just look like a corpse head to you? You all look at it, and yeah, you kind of see it for what it is now, and it's just like a gray, <laughs> lifeless head. 
Oh my oh. god. <laughs> She's Jesus. carrying this around. <laughs> yeah. No wonder we, people have been freaked out. <laughs> what a kill fuck cool. Kill fuck. Kill there, fuck? Mike. Well, where kill did fuck? you leave the rest of his body? Uh, uh little hut. Probably so, in flesh but, dog shit by now. <laughs> Scattered across the land. Do any of you have to go to the bathroom? Uh Ooh. yeah. Yeah, I do man. No, Could you don't. do it inside the circle? Yeah. <laughs> oh Dick, yeah. Dick begins to take a shit in the ritual circle. Oh right. Boy. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Praise <laughs> the Lord Progenitor. Grant passage to my fellow friends over here. Let them reach their destination through your unending guidance. And I pray before the statue of the poet here that these young little rascals might be, uh, as you call them, protagonists in your story. Stinks. By the might of the progenitor and the wisdom of the poet, protect my friends. He'll walk up and he'll piss into the circle. <laughs> oh. That should do it. All right. Lovely. Right. I feel um, protected. Oh, well, one more thing. Could you all roll around in it a little bit? Yep. Oh. I was yep. going to do that anyway, man. Do I have to? I think that you're going to have to. Okay. It would be a mockery to the progenitor if you didn't roll around a little bit in that filth. Flatsy's going to roll, but try and avoid Dick's fresh shit. <laughs> Dick does not avoid it. <laughs> oh no. Here goes nothing. <laughs> no. Oh my Dick god, does... I'm so jealous. Dick does the worm. <laughs> <laughs> he slides around like a slug. Wow. That seems like that'll be good enough, everyone. Thank you I... so much. Okay. And I really hope that we get to meet again. You are so amazing, each and every one of you. Thanks, Flaherty. Man. Wait to see you again, Mike. I have always admired the decaying stump between your severed head. Mm. Would, would you like to see it? Oh, yes. Thank you. Mm. She'll lift off her head and lean forward. That looks positively necrotic. I. There you go. One for the road, eh? Helmet. <laughs> I never really got to meet you, and I don't know how dirty you are under there. But I appreciate that you've been carrying around a severed head. Well, Mike, he's never taken the armor off, and he pees and shits inside. Oh so my it's goodness! So fucking filthy. Truly a disciple. <laughs> it's, it's pretty gross in here. That sounds fantastic. I'll have my recruits do that once they learn how to use armor, I guess. <clears throat> Chuck. Yes, Mike. You're okay. Hey, all right. That's better than what most people say. You Thank haven't, you. That's so nice. You haven't really offended me or impressed me or really anything at all. You've just kind of been there. I, but I appreciate I you as a, mediocrity. a solid stone, a rock that supports my yep. good friend Dick. Mike, a rock will always support your, you and your... Thank you, Mike. <laughs> and Dick. I don't know Dick. if I'm being too forward, but... You know that I've grown feelings for you, and I would like to meld our flesh before you leave. <laughs> Mike, listen to me. As joyous as that would be, I fear that me killer instinct might be dulled if I finally achieve the prize of being able to rest between your supple, dirty cheeks. And perhaps just a kiss. <laughs> On me cheek, that's all I could suffer, mate. Oh, kiss him. Full tongue. <laughs> Come on. This isn't a Disney movie. There you go. And one final thing before you venture forth. Yeah. Dick, would you allow me to take your mortal form whenever I wish? <laughs> yes. Say yes. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Wait, actually, no, wait, no, 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 mate. Wait, which oh. is it? <clears throat> Snow, mate. I mean, can I stop you if you wanted to? Well, I'm asking politely, and I'm being quite forward about it. I, I will respect your wishes. Uh, how about after we do the dirt, the deed, mate? You can see everything, mate. Oh. You won't have to guess. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have to guess. I mate. see. Playing it coy. Don't really want to reveal the whole scope of your being. I understand. 
Would yeah, anyone else man. here allow me to copy their mortal form? <laughs> God, no, they so right. What do you mean copy? Like take it over or make a copy? Oh no, so that my appearance could be melded around your likeness. So, what do you mean? Well, like so that I'm, I'm I, cool with it. I could look like you. Oh yeah, yo, but I would still be me. Oh yeah, absolutely. Just I could oh, also yeah, look like ahead. you. Thank you. Yeah, very do it. You know what, Chuck? You're a lot better of a guy than I thought you were before. You really owned up today. Oh. <laughs> yep. What would be better than one Chuck, two Chucks? That would really freak people out, and then I could easily take their mind. <laughs> well, if that's all, I'll miss you. All we'll right. miss you too, Mike. We'll see you we soon, get, Mike. We gotta get going. It's okay, Mike. You'll see you. Wait, can Killfuck still talk? Fuck you, Clamilla. Uh, Killfuck can talk to the party. Okay. Yes, I'll miss you too. All right. See you now, to, now to completely Lassie's gonna change get outside my and, like, lean around the side of the church and just fucking vomit. So, uh, <laughs> Chuck, do you, do you really think it was a good idea to let that guy in there take over, you know, copy your form? Oh, yeah, man. If the shit hits the fan, I'll just completely change my appearance and tell him to look for Chuck here. We smell so fucking bad. I've got a headache. Mate, he could, he could just do it anyway, bro. It's not like him giving permission even matters. Well, hold on. Maybe he's keen on consent. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's like a part of his fucking religion or some shit. Well, that's why I asked, mate. But, I mean, he could have lied, I guess. Maybe he's already doing it. Maybe. You want to peek back in and see what's going on? Not really. It fucking stinks. <laughs> I want to take a look. It smells pretty bad in the... Peaks. Are there windows? It's just coming from uh, the there are, there are windows on the mind. sides. Uh, Radiant Mike has been rolling around in the filth you have all <laughs> left behind. But, um... What's Clamilla doing? Just sitting there flicking it, <laughs> <she's> probably? <laughs> just watching and in complete uh -huh. awe of the Radiant Mike, the chosen prophet. Yeah. Yep, there they go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at that big round belly, my slapping. Yeah. He stops in the middle <laughs> of it, <laughs> sits up kind of with his legs flood across the spore, and his head slowly turns and looks out the window and makes eye contact with you. Hey, guys. We wave. Hey, Dick Mike. Blows him a kiss. <laughs> he waves back. <laughs> Are you done with your adventure? No, man. No. We, we just wanted to see you do it for a little bit, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm really getting into this one. Bit. I know, we could tell, mate. This is my favorite pile of filth so far. <laughs> nice. All right, love you, Mike. Love you. Dick just Bye -bye. be leading people on, man. <laughs> Blowing him kisses after denying him. <laughs> True. He's a, little, he's a little tease, isn't he? Yeah. All right. Well, here, here's what we're going to do, all right? <laughs> one... We're gonna go to that fort, all right? We can take a shortcut, I'm assuming, because of our uh, little aura of filth now that we've gotten, courtesy of Mike. We find the fort, we find somewhere to bathe sufficiently. Yep. yep. Then, we, then we go in and right. we don't... You know, we gotta come up with a, a story of some sort, mate. Well, I've I been thinking about that, Dick, because surely... They would have found out that Gilead was partly responsible, but he's having a good time. Well, the so thing maybe, is, if Gilead... you just tell them the truth, then they'll treat us like they treated Gilead. Yeah. Do you yeah. guys, uh, do you want to kill that farmer and take a pig and hire that troll? <laughs> you really hung up on that farmer, didn't you? Because of the punch. I, I, yeah, what's up I, with the pigs? Man? That guy really pissed me. He that you guy on. pissed me the fuck off, and I don't think he should get away the with that. The glasses are fucked. That's what I'm saying. That guy pissed me off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, look, I mean, <laughs> no, I yes. don't want to do that, mate. I Listen, don't. All right, I've got a plan. The troll isn't in the fucking filth ritual anyway, mate. He can't come with us. He'd get no, attacked. But listen, he's a troll. He's already filthy. What if <laughs> we retire a wee bit early tonight, get up in the middle of the night and steal one of those pegs while he's sleeping? I can't help with that, mate. Of course oh, you can. You know Look at you. No, mate, I can barely lift me head. 
All right. I'm can, like you can be the lookout with your gun. <laughs> All right. All right. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. But also fuck it. Fuck you and also fuck it. <laughs> So are we stealing the pig? Are we not stealing the pig? You What's, know, we did this whole pig? thing so you could fuck. I've had your back the whole way, man. <laughs> Don't you owe me some favors? But Chuck, it don't make sense to travel with the fucking troll right now, mate. We'll just die. It's not about that. It, I don't even care about the troll. I just want to kill this farmer. All right, he pissed I'll, me off. It look, doesn't I, sound so much like you want the pig so much as you just want to kill a guy. Mate, I'm just yeah. worried that if we kill this guy. I want his guy, two kids to watch. <laughs> Mate, I don't think we should kill him, Chuck, because if word of that reaches Gilead and Co, Gilead's not going to come back with us. Yeah. Well, oh, so this on. is where we're drawing the line. No, hang mate, on, I mean, we're going on. into a place, bruv, where there's a whole bunch of people who can read our fucking minds, and if they find <laughs> out we killed a guy for no fucking reason as recently as yesterday, they probably ain't going to listen to us, mate. Yeah, well, well, what listen, about what? the other times we killed a guy for no reason, huh? We can ex we can, that was like fucking half a year ago, mate. We can explain I, that away. We've improved. We show them that we've improved. We can't show them that we've improved I, we if yesterday we storm, murdered Chuck. someone. We got paint the storm it's for no Jeez. reason, he attacked me. Why did he attack you, Chuck? I don't know. He's deranged. Be Are honest you lying, with Chuck? Be honest with us, Mike. Just tell us. I'm telling you the truth. He said I, that he I, needs to feed his children, and he picked up an axe and came at me. So you weren't trying <laughs> well, to take his pegs? No. <laughs> to feed a troll? No. <laughs> no. Well, he said no. I... <laughs> he said no. It's, it's really hard to believe you sometimes, Chuck. Mate, we, I we don't gotta, care. Uh, honest, honestly, <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck, listen, we we got to practice telling the truth, mate, because when we go there, and we, okay. we if we lie to them, they're going to just ask us. No, 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 no. Well, okay, he, hear me out. All right. <laughs> What if we go in there and we say we're actually beings that have, oh, you know, like Radio and Mike in there. We've all possessed the forms of other things. So we have the memories of the people who we, forms we possessed, but that's not actually us. So they is can't it, pin us for any crimes. Is that Good a lie? Or is he lying, everyone? Did Helmet just lie? Raise your well, hand how if do you we think know, he lied. How do we know that any of us Please, can haven't we just try, can we taken over? Can we practice being honest with everyone, with each other? <laughs> I love okay. all of you, mate. No matter what I feel happens. Like we've all lied in the last 50 seconds. I have not I was, lied. In, love with, I was in love with Gilliard. Okay, then let's go get him, mate. We can't do that if we get fucking executed, mate. I'm, I know, but I'm just trying to play hard to get, like how you do. I learned it from you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> priorities. Do we want to kill Look, the farmer first, or do we want to go we're to We're not going to kill Gilliard the farmer. First. Fuck okay. the farmer. Well, that's we're going to rest, fun. and then we're going to go to the fort, right? Yes, I agree. Let's go fuck up the and then farmer. Chuck can confess his love to Gilliard. I think that's uh, very sweet, Chuck. Honestly, I do. <laughs> can we just set the building on fire? Whatever you do, Which one? Really... You have to be more specific. The whatever fucking do... farmer, Zad! The farm! <laughs> the farm, <laughs> man! Look, so first we... you wanted to kill the farmer and make his kids watch. Now you want to kill the kids? Guys, I think <laughs> they, they can, like... Out. I think they so you wanted to, like, remove the kids and then set the... I think they can read your intent. So just talking about this is bad. Yeah. Well, we've already done that. Yeah, look, we've got a lot... make it worse. Our mission right now, all right, is we, we got two choices, and I can't sail a boat, so I'm, I'm, I don't think any of you all can either, mate. So we no. can't... I mean, maybe we can hop on a ship out of here, all right? Or we do the right thing, all right? And we do this whole grand mission, go there, face the consulate, figure out by telling the truth if he's guilty or not, in their eyes, get killed or not. Chuck can confess to Gilead his love, all right? Or not. Or not. <laughs> if he wants to play hard to get. Uh, we convince Gilead to come back with us because we found the source of all this nonsense. Uh, and we absolve ourselves, and then we are free as or not. a bird now. I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. This. I mean, do you think they're do you, uh, do you think they're really just gonna be like, oh yeah, that's cool? I mean, they well, work for Gilliard. We're, look, we're, we're, we're coming with valuable information that you know we learn from. What if they just get it out of us, then kill us? 
uh, oh yeah, I was thinking about that. We need to be ready to kill ourselves so they can't extract the information. Right, okay, uh, okay. Well, do you Sorry. have a gun, so you could do that. I can yeah. set all of us on fire. Yeah, uh, look, I'll line up the gunshot so it hits all of us. Or like Bar a collateral. So yeah. let me let me understand. Your, pl <laughs> but your plan is to go there, and if they don't accept what we're saying, we're just gonna kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, if they specifically try to extract the information and then execute us anyway, mate. Listen, I, I've I've died. It's, it's really not that bad. <laughs> uh, look, this is just. I don't is kill fuck head. Are we seeing kill fuck head? Uh, <laughs> or what, what's happening? We see it fine. We see him normally. You, you are it's hearing him out. talk normally, yes. But before we could it, just a bit ago, in the ritual. No. Uh, no, everyone, seemingly except for you guys, sees it as a normal dead person's head that is not talking, but you guys are hearing Killfuck. Oh, I misunderstood. I thought in the ritual circle you were saying that we were seeing it for what it really was. Like, for a moment where he pointed it out and you all for were moment, aware okay. of it, you looked at it and you're like, oh, shit. But you kind of, like let it go and you're sort of just accepting it and back to I'm not gonna hearing let it go then i'm gonna I can, is that okay can i bring it hey can we talk about that <laughs> yeah that talk okay. about what chuck why whatever I, do you mean <laughs> why went in the in the when we were doing the piss shit why <laughs> what 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 the fuck was up with kill fuck's head well what do you well, mean I, I was there i saw you all take part in the disgusting ritual if i know nah, man to guess, there was a second where you were my occult knowledge only the people that were present for the ritual would be able to hear Kelfuck. Makes sense to me. I mean, I don't know yeah, shit. Yeah, but why did he look all <laughs> decrepit and shit? Because you're, you're questioning this. Said... You're questioning this after we saw a giant meatball fall from the sky and kill a bunch of people. You know, hey, it's me. It's Kelfuck. Well, we questioned <laughs> that too. Ah. All right. Okay, okay Kelfuck. Then tell me something only Kelfuck would know. <laughs> um, <laughs> well. I helped you kill that giant clam. And I True. am a barbarian. And True. I wear glasses. All right. True. Okay, kill fuck. Then back at Clamtopia, which one of us decided to clam up? <laughs> to clam what? up? That's a, yeah. Mm -hmm. You remember clam up? Who clammed up and who didn't? Oh, uh... Oh, on, on our gear, on our weapons. Um, yeah. I believe yep. that was... Ooh. Duh. I think... Gilead did not. Did Gilead not? I don't think so, mate. I don't think Gilead did, because he didn't seem like the type of person who would who would partake in that. He didn't... He was not a clamor, mate. No, nope, he All wasn't right. a clamor. What did Dick do? Oh, Dick absolutely. Dick clams up everything. You know I clammed up. What did Flaherty do? Flaherty... Okay, come on. Now you're just being pedantic. Okay, no, and most importantly, what did you do? I... <laughs> didn't. I did not. That's false. You did. You I did. did. You he did. You clams on your axe. Did I get a clam axe? I don't remember that. Your axe clammed. Listen, okay, well, besides that, I had to just like, what, I got, like, half right. Come on. It's pretty close. Well, I mean, what's oh, he gonna do, man. bite us, mate? Even if he's lying, does it really matter? All right, well, I guess he knew what I was even talking about, so fuck it. Uh, yeah, come on. Hey, listen, right, okay. really, this is the weirdest thing you've seen, this? <laughs> no, all right, okay, you're right. I I'm sorry, kill fuck. It's just, you know, no, it's, it's okay. I'm stressed out, man. It's I know. stressful time. It, listen, it's okay. You want to hug it out? I'm yeah, a little bit worried because if everybody sees uh, Kelfak as a here, corpse, what do they see uh, when they look at me? Press his head to my shit fist. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Helmet will hand the head over as they sort of embrace for a moment. That was nice. This was nice. I'm glad we could sort of I'm air sorry. out our... You know, it's okay. Hey, it's fine. Look, we can air it out. Sorry, man. About it. No, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine, really. All right. Yeah. Well, anyways, so, all right. Consulate, what, what's... Dick, what's, what's option B? Try to get out of here? Yeah. Basically, I think we, we should. We I go think see we Gilead, get and if Gilead doesn't want to help, I think we just fucking leave. Mate, I'm voting for told. get the for get the fuck out of Dodge, man. That's mate. Listen, I don't got much time to live. And me mates, what? It would. Yeah, I'm dying. Hey, he's dying really quickly, actually. 
He's got me body, it bad. Me body's degenerating, mate. And there's just... If we could just work together to do this one thing, me spirit or soul or whatever, he'll fuck, could rest knowing that I wasn't a complete degenerate. <laughs> so I, as, I, it, as me dying let's, requests... Let's find Gilliard and do this make-a-wish for... Do- for, for Dick. <laughs> oh fuck that! I still want to be alive. Dick dies anyways. I'm my vote stands. Get the fuck out of here. I guess it's up to you two. Wait, wait. I'm I'm okay with leaving if Gilead doesn't want to come with us. All right, let's say that. But can we at least Troy? And if he comes, will you come with us, mate? If you guys want Gilead, I can f- telepathically call him right now. Wait, why don't you call him and see that we figured out the source and we need to stop it? And could we meet him? I can and do then it. See, we're like on our way. Uh, if you want to, then we could go in. Uh, we could try to find a map somewhere. We could pick a location, and I can tell him that we'll be there to talk. What if that's you what you guys want, I can do that. Yeah, that's good, mate. We could scout it out, see if they've got, you know, an ambush or something. They probably will. <laughs> they probably... I think they're going to kill us. <laughs> but... Yeah, but look. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about this? All right. We do that, and then just one of... I'll go in. I'll talk to him, mate. And if they kill me, then you guys can just scram. All right? Or me and Helmet, because Helmet's technically innocent in all this. Yeah, I haven't done anything. <laughs> I think. No, are you not responsible for any of these? No, I don't think so. You haven't done anything, but part of that's been bad, too, because you've not really contributed. <laughs> I haven't really had a chance to do anything yet. I gave you a chance in the tavern and you fucking fell asleep. I found, I found <laughs> where it was. Hello. Yeah, he did do that. True, man. actually, you did. That's my mistake. I apologize. That's okay. You if you guys want to do that, you guys going to hug it out? You want to hug it out? Hey, what if we put uh, Chill Fox head doing nothing. Okay, on right, Flaherty's stuff? Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Wait, mate. We have... Have Gilead come to that tower with the lady you deflowered, mate. She likes us. She could speak to our... The tower uh, where we met Helmut. Yeah. Uh, can I we walk in there? Bit, bit close, I, that's closer to us than him, I think. But yeah. didn't... Uh, okay. Didn't it, that have like a fucking protection aura on it? Oh, it was It was like they sealed her in there because she, could, she reads books and... To keep well, her from going insane. I thought it was keeping shit out, too. Wasn't it? And he's not. Perhaps we just go to the fort. I mean, if you want to, we that would probably be the best place because it was really fucking high up. I had a telescope. We'd be able to see an ambush coming. Oh, we yeah. Leave. Yeah, mate. Yeah. 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 You want to uh, do that? We, yeah, just ask extra noise because he's going to have to walk a little bit further, mate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm up for that, but I, I'm going to be honest. I don't, like I said, I, I'm feeling kind of weak mentally. I, I, yeah. I, I got to I gotta sleep. I got to rest before that. All right. If you want, we could go there and rest. No, let's rest here and then we'll walk. Yeah. Well, let's, take, um, let's, take to, let's take to night to rest, man. Having been at the top of Harper's Tower with the telescope, you don't think the way that the trees are, you would be able to see this fort. Yeah, yeah, but, but we'd I be mean, able to see, I, like but, the but, immediate uh, area, but, like the roads. We'd be able to see if they were coming with like a big fucking army. Right? Okay. Or no, I mean, that uh, makes sense, you right? would get like kind of a vague view of the main roads and the the consulate barricade, but exactly where you were looking to go for Gilliard is a little bit covered. Well, uh, we're proposing that he meet us at the tower. Yeah. Okay. All right, and what I'm saying, what, what I'm saying then, is that. If they brought, if they sent an army, we'd be able to see like an army marching down the main fucking road. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. So we we's gonna use the ladies' tower. Uh, well, let's uh, try and see what he says. He might say no. Mate. <laughs> All right. Look, I'm gonna be honest, guys. He might not respond. Uh, it says okay. so on the flavor. Tab. Yeah. Reminder: He can't respond to the message. So <laughs> if you try and meet him there, he might just never it, show didn't up. Didn't say he might not. It says it's that he, he is incapable of responding telepathically, and he can only respond if he if he has a way to respond telepathically, which is unlikely. Right, right. Okay, well... So just send a, a noise, concise, one-way message saying, we know how to stop all of this. Uh, it's your old pals. We're sorry. Come to Harper. Say Killfuck well, misses you. I, I, we'll, we'll, do it. we'll do it when we get there, okay? 
Or do you want to do it there? Should, do you want to do it should, now? I think you should give the apology and the message because he think. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. When when Kel when Galliard left, he thought you guys were decks. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. okay. How about this? Wait, 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 wait. How about this? Apologize in the message and say you were right. Way more than all of us combined. You were so right about everything, mate. And we're sorry. Dil Dear Gilliard, first <laughs> off, our bad. You were right about everything. We should have listened to you. You've always been right. We've always been wrong. <laughs> Hi, that's a good start. Uh, yeah. We've realized our mistakes. Yeah. And we're trying to remedy it. But we need We've your taken help. We've taken the first steps to doing that by infiltrating the dirty Radiant Mike cult. And we figured out who is to blame and who's behind all this. But Oi, we need your help. Oh, wait, leave out the, the cult infiltration part, mate. Oh, just, uh, just, okay. just, just, just say that we found out who caused the medias and we're going to kill him and we need his help. And then right. tell him to meet us at the Reader's Tower to the north. I gotta rest. Let's rest. Let's rest, and then we can do that. We can do all this, and then I'll send it. All well, right. You said, can you not send it before we rest? I gotta, yeah, we I'm not. I'm saying I don't know what's gonna happen with this book. All right, it's got powers that I don't even understand. If you can believe that, and uh, I don't know. I, I think I should really rest before I try to send this message. Yeah, it's fine. We can rest. In, in fact, it might be best if we your, get to the your tower. Your stink the magic to protect you from the Cambians is going to wear off if you start resting now that you've already done it. Right. Okay. Um. Let's Maybe go let's tower. go there. Let's go to send the tower and rest. rest. No, go to the tower. Rest. Send it. Yeah, I like that. Uh, okay. How how close is the tower, mate? How close do y'all think? Uh, without uh, <laughs> interruptions, because you're not gonna have to travel scared. You can make it there in like a day. All right. You know, if All this right. magic works, then mate, we should be able to get there. Let's before. go. Let's go right now. Fuck it. Yep. 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 All right, DM. We head to the tower. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 it, it gets some food for the lady, mate. She said that she was going to starve to death. Oh, true. I'll buy some at the store. Good call. Okay. Uh, I'll stop by I'm gonna, the I'm going to grab some water store. real quick. I'll be right back. And is, that, is that like a food I can buy? Yeah. Um, a... I, I think there might be. I can just take some wealth from you and presume you were yeah, capable of buying some, food. Uh, there isn't one in the store, but just take some wealth from me. Uh, it is going to be a little overpriced because of the circumstances. Okay. Are you buying her like, are you like grocery shopping or are you just like, I'm going to get you, I'm going to pick up you up donuts at Starbucks, a type of meal. Grocery shopping. Uh, yeah, like a, like a light grocery shop. <clears throat> Rich. Rich bitch. I'll spend that in one combat, dude. Bowling! You stay on. Nola. Bowling! Bowling! Uh, I know uh, Penta's away, but yeah, I'm should gonna I continue? Go okay. I'm gonna go pissed as well. Short then. intermission. <sighs> Intermish. Peace. Well, 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 uh, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate Shore for hanging out the whole time as well. In case, uh, the Gilliard situation comes up as he's been here the whole time. Uh, and I appreciate anybody who has subscribed during this myriad session because I can't, uh, obviously have sub sounds playing or anything like that, but it's really appreciate it. Happy to be running again today. 
Uh, especially because we've had so much downtime lately. It's good to get the boys back. Wait, it's over? It is a short intermission as they're all going pee-pee. Short intermission. <laughs> Penta going, you got kids? I didn't even think of that. You go PP too? I have already I have already gone, guys. I have already gone. IRL filth ritual? Yeah. You can't be serious? They were all having a long conversation. I don't want to miss any of it. There's filth rituals going on. What else am I supposed to do? This is getting like, this is, I'm feeling judged. This is ridiculous. I'm dedicated. What's up? Nothing, nothing, just. Be I'm okay. being judged by my chat because I keep pissing in bottles while you guys RP. Oh yeah, you don't have the Elgato uh, catheter? I don't. You gotta get on that, man. Yeah, it's got the RGB lights. It tells you when it's yep. full. Yep, that's right. Sucks I, it I'll, I'll look into that. Is, that. is that better or worse than a bottle? Like well, morally more speaking. It, it's more expensive. It's how do you basically like just that. an RGB tube, or, you know, the lights, it's a tube, you put in your pee hole and then you put that in the... Yeah, in yeah, the... I get it. Yeah, what are your thoughts yeah. on sounding? On what? You can buy those kits on sounding. Amazon. I don't know what that is. It's when you stick I don't think I want to know what it means. <laughs> well, he just said it. It's literally okay. sticking stuff down your pee hole. Okay, but a catheter has like a medical purpose. And a... Someone could use a catheter if they really wanted, let's be honest here. Yeah, anyone can use a catheter, man. Ugh. Okay. It doesn't have to have a medical purpose, really. You know? I know. What's going on here? I don't, dude. Yo, they're being weird. We're talking about sounding. Moon go AFK. Yeah, he's doing he's a PP. Listen. Which also means he's getting some coffee. Yeah. That's what's up. <clears throat> right out of the microwave, huh? Guys, I'm starting to think that we might last a few more sessions. I'm I'm fe I'm feeling optimistic, man. I'm feeling a little optimistic too. I, today I was feeling doom and gloom. I, I thought we were just going to get fucked up today. But maybe this is like fake optimism. I think we're going to be okay. You guys seen John Wick 4 yet? I did. No, no, yeah. I went to Actually, see. Um, did you? I did, yeah. I went to see Super Mario today. How was it? What'd you think? Dude, I loved it. Really? Nice. Yeah, Back. I love it. Do you think that's a scene in theaters, or do you think you can wait on that? Um, wait I would. That, right? You could you wait. See it in theaters? You could wait, but like, yeah, it's uh, it's it's. I enjoyed it. It was it was epic. Super big Mario Florida. in real life. We got really good movie theaters here, so it doesn't take me much. It doesn't take much convincing for me to go. Yeah, I'd never been to Alamo Draft House when they were actually serving food because I. Like a weirdo when when COVID was happening, they were just like, "We're not doing none of that." Did you go though to see John Wick? I, I did, and I actually got like all the get? food there. I got Bob, right? I got chicken wings. I got a pretzel. Yes, yes. Did they gave, they shake? accidentally gave us like fresh baked cookies for no reason. Oh, those are so fucking good. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. It's good, right? Yeah. A lot of people are just like, "Oh, it's just gonna be like movie theater food." No, man, it's like a whole ass like nice kitchen. It's good. Yeah, I, I expect it worse. Expensive, but I mean, I want to eat a pretzel expensive. while I watch my movie, dude. You got to get the milkshake dude. next time. That's what they're really doing. English, English movie theaters are so shit. 
compared to American ones, dude. American ones, you can get oh, some, like, no. great food, drinks. That's that. That's only some places. Most theaters here are shit. Oh, uh, okay. That's In LA, that's they were, like, places. really good. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's just some... If you go to, like, a normal town in America, yeah, they're shit. <laughs> that's just, like, nice places as that. It's crazy, too. They're serious. They just, like, duck through, like, the out... The fucking, uh... The rows. So they're, like, walk in front of anyone, and they just sneak up, and you're like... Hey, yeah, what can we get you? <laughs> dude, yeah, you can fucking order back, food. Too. Way, yeah, that blew my mind, dude. It's fucking cool as shit, man. Dude, the, I think the one I went to was in, I went to one in Texas and it, they did, yep. it was for like- Probably Alamo, Avengers. you probably went to Alamo. Yeah, it was like my buddy like rented out the theater and like invited his friends for like Avengers. And like, oh, they did like fresh, like m freshly baked cookies. Yeah. Yeah, you went they to Alamo. Like, yep. Make them and bring them to you while you were like watching the movie. It was insane. Dude, Alamo, is, Alamo fucks. We, uh, I brought Welcome a bunch of people moon. to see uh, Godfather 2 there and you know, it's like Thanks. four hours long, so. You know, I had a couple meals. <laughs> but yeah, dude. All that right. Was dope. Back to the game. You guys traveled uh, safely all the way to Harper's Tower. Took you about a day. Uh, you brought food with you. Uh, I'm going to do it now so that I don't forget that with the food that you brought Harper, you will be able to get a full rest of a day being in a sanctuary where you don't have to worry about dying. Uh, which is much better than resting in a filth church. Good call party. Mm -hmm. Can we? Is there a place for us to bathe? <laughs> uh, you want to bathe before you get in here? Yeah. Mm, not really. <laughs> I mean, we can rest and then bathe. Uh, sh Har Harper will be able to offer you like. A little tub, I food. guess. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but, uh... Okay, back to negative two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! That's a, that's a lot gained! Well, you you appear at the door. Um, Let's assume that you've all eaten together. You've said hello. Harper's happy to see you. You eat food, you rest, you bathe, and it's like uh, whatever is more convenient that... I guess shortly after eating, because you guys want to do the communication. Yeah. Sure. Nothing would happen to me while resting, right? <clears throat> uh, what do you think would happen to you? No, I'm just asking. <laughs> Schizo arc. <laughs> you said you weren't done fucking me up last session. True. I'll let you know. Okay. That translates to he forgot, but thanks for reminding. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> I remembered, but then my power went out because Austin <laughs> sucks and I lost internet for like three hours and it was a whole kerfuffle. But you did say the next one might be good. Might be. And I also said, hey, it's me, Harper. Welcome back, everybody. I didn't expect to see you all here so soon. Boy, Harper, we, we brought you some food. Yeah. Oh, my oh. goodness. You all stink really bad. Get in, get in. Two. Hey, Harper. Wow, it's, uh, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to live this long, let alone see you guys ever again. Yeah, I guess you missed me. Uh, well, <laughs> here you go. what can we say? Two hand, two, two hand over the groceries. I sure did miss you, Harper. Oh, Winks. my goodness. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, who was that speaking? And, um, <laughs> it's He's kind of like shyly not wanting to look at Chuck already, like <laughs> trying to ignore him and send out these weird vibes, remembering what happened last time he was here. Yeah. God, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, Chuck. Oh, sorry. I, I almost forgot about you. <laughs> oh, come on. How could you forget about me after I gave you a nice. Well, I don't know. Uh, so, what brings you all back here? <laughs> uh, uh, Harper, we got, we got into some trouble, mate. <laughs> Harper, it's bad. It's real bad, mate. Oh, okay. It's a nice, a nice place you've got here. Hopefully it's nothing that uh, I can't help you with. Well, well mate, we got we got a. Uh... So you know about the meat, the flesh bowl, Roy. Oh yeah, very familiar with our impending doom. Yeah, so. Uh, don't know if we told you last time, mate, but you know, due to our inaction, perhaps one of the first one went off. 
all right? Maybe it was willful inaction, right? But yeah. we, we found out who might be doing it or controlling them or something, continuing on with this horrible ritual. Uh, we got to meet up with an old friend of ours to maybe go and kill the thing responsible, right? Problem, all right, is that he joined up with the consulate, right? And you, you work for the consulate, right? Well, kind of, uh, I suppose technically, if you want to look at that way, I am contracted underneath them, but I'm technically not a part of them. Yeah, but you know how they, uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of pinched right now, mate. We got, uh, we, we're looking to absolve ourselves in the eyes of the consulate so that maybe eventually we can leave this island without dying, be it to flesh beast or execution. We got to meet someone here. Yeah, if that's that all cool? right. He's, he's a consulate member. He's, a, he's an upstanding mate. Ah, uh, well, guy. that shouldn't be a problem. I'm not too concerned about it because, uh, uh as a reminder, in case you all forgot, uh, if anyone takes a, uh, aggressive action towards anyone while they're in here, you will die due to the oath. Oh, all right. great place to meet. All right. Yeah, I forgot all right. about that. No, no, that was actually perfect. <laughs> Am I yeah, all right. from that? I mean, I'm already dead, so I don't know how that works. <laughs> she doesn't hear you. Oh, <laughs> Hellfuck wants to know if he's exempt because he's dead. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> there you go, Killfuck. Oh, uh, let me, let me bite. bite Chuck. Hold you on, hear that, I want to bite him. I want to bite him. Here, let me, let me bite him. I want to see if it works. Ow. Ow. You guys really been carrying that head around this whole time, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all, it's all night. I it's mean, kill it's Killfuck. Yeah, he's our buddy. Okay, well, um, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll make preparations for a guest to arrive. Uh, if you would kindly not uh, lay in any of the beds, because you are quite stinky, and it would be yeah. hard for me to clean the hey, sheets. You got any any place we can wash ourselves off or anything like that? Um, not quite. I can put some water in a tub, I guess, but water is kind of scarce around here for me as well. All right. Okay. Is there a stream nearby? Ah, uh, not that I can think of. Well, I guess we're all bathing together. All right, like yeah. that. Yeah, we may as well save some water. All, All right. right. Uh, could you write out the exact wording of your communication with Gilliard? All right. Like, are we? Are you gonna? Are we going to discuss the exact wording? Yeah, you can all uh, discuss an RP, but I want to have like the wording written out so that he can react appropriately. <laughs> without okay. having to remember what precisely was said. Fucking every game, it's paperwork. <laughs> All right. Only when there's crimes. You guys want to do that now? <laughs> yeah. All right. Dear... Gilliard. Make sure you let him know who who's contacting his brain. What's up? It's me, Chuck. <laughs> well, make sure you tell him that I'm with you because he only liked me and not you. Uh, Flaherty is here too. <laughs> she... That's good. That's good. Hopes you're well. Is there a limit? And Wait, mate. What, what if you just... <laughs> Wait, what is if there you... word limits <laughs> What if you just say it's Flaherty given the whole message? Ew. Think of it like a, a Twitter okay. message in length. Uh, okay. Oh, well, that's went up recently. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, just okay. see, it's for me. So how does the message... I don't know if I'm allowed to know this. If I am, great. If not, whatever. You tell me to fuck off. Uh, does he hear my voice or is it just words? Uh... If you want Flaherty to send it, he'll hear her voice. But because it's an item that you have, anyone can do it. Oh, damn. I probably could have sold that for a shit ton of money. Oh, well. Uh, okay. All right. Well, then in that case, uh, hey, Flaherty, you, it, here, if you just want to send the message yourself, then here. Yeah, well, give the voice. Tell me what to write. Well, basically, this is how you do it. <laughs> sure, uh, 
and then that's how you do it. <laughs> uh, hey, just look into this book with these words and it's going to blur and meld into your mind and sort of corrupt you a little bit. But the message that you think to yourself is totally going to get to Gilliard. And that's how you do it. <laughs> really just focus okay. on what you want to say when you look at the words that enter your mind. Do I wait? Am I writing the words then reading them? No, you are looking into the book that he has. Okay. And it will have that effect if you focus on that effect while you look in it. But you got to send it to Stir. I, guess. I just figured it would be better if I, because I've got 40 Sunny and you've got minus two. So if something goes wrong, <laughs> then. Yeah, but also. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we don't tell Gilliard that all of us are here. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Do you, just wait, keep it vague. Uh, okay, but. This kind of goes against our honesty policy. Are we bad? Well, we'll start being honest when he shows up. Well, <laughs> hey, look, it's not lying if we're just leaving out information. That's just... Okay, I'll just say it's from me. And yep. I figured out how to stop it. And I need his help. Yes. And can he meet me at the Reader's Tower? Perfect. I love that. Hey, Gilead, it's Flattered T. Um, <laughs> I've figured out... The cause of the uh, corpse bombs yep. need your help to stop it. Yes. Please meet me at the Reader's Tower north of the port city. Um, great. Good? I think so. Sounds good, mate. Okay. Uh, hope you've been well. <laughs> there we go. Send. Is everyone okay with that message? And I will give you a better name for the Reader's Tower. It would be Harper's Sanctuary or Harper's Astrology Tower. Sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oakley dokely one momentarino. Right. Oakley dokely. This is such nice music. Surely nothing bad will happen. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I sign up for Sanity Blue and edit this? <laughs> <laughs> yes eight wealth a month <laughs> that's a lot Gil oh i fucking knew he joined this shit sorry gilliard <laughs> sitting dude i really wanted his like picture to be him smiling for the first time <laughs> <laughs> like he's finally there's happy. only one moment yeah. there's only one moment that he would be doing that gilliard is sitting inside a kind of like a meeting hall kitchen and suddenly, as he's probably finishing a meal or some such thing, as he's minding his own business, begins to hear a familiar voice inside of his head. He is confident that this voice is not due to any of his own insanity, which was another condition of the book, that he is fully aware that this is, to his full belief system, Flaherty is 100% the one talking in my mind and I'm not crazy. <laughs> Nice. Well, the hell did she learn how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> did that group put her up to something again? Also, side note, he's talking in his head right now. This is mind talk. Model. Well, up. looks like I need to go tell Marson. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. I, I would prefer if you sent whatever you do now to me on discord <laughs> okay is it marso and that cheating ass bitch that we almost fucked yeah up? yeah he is or do you just want to go to a different channel real quick so the stream can hear it uh let's do that, yeah, that it'll, it'll take like two seconds let's go yeah two two Okay, uh, I want to speed through this and not actually do all the RP, if that's okay. Yeah, basically, I'd just be like, Hey, uh, Marson, uh, you know those guys that were with me we talked about? Uh, apparently, one of them talked in my head somehow and say they want to meet up because they figured out 
how to stop these bombs. Now, there's Flaherty saying it, and I don't think she knows how to do any of that stuff, so maybe the group put her up to it. She was supposed to tell them I'm dead. Okay. And I'm assuming... Damn, what a snitch. <laughs> Uh, He's I'm, the. I think is this surprising? He's I mean, honest about really, everything, no. and Marcon literally is like, "I'm under his watch. Why would mm -hmm. I go behind his back at this point?" Because you literally told me, and Stream doesn't know, but there's another hand of the consulate that literally rides a dragon. Why would I want to go against something that is literally so close to what I want? Okay. Uh, Marcone and you and one other individual are going to travel to Harper Sanctuary. So you'll be arriving the next day. Oh, wait. Marcone, can, can we... Can we go on the dragon? <laughs> <laughs> he will totally ignore the question and just say, get ready. All right. And IRP, huh? Yeah, we go and That happens to me too all the time, man. I always say yes to RP, and then it puts me in a bad fucking spot. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that, was too, a big, that was a big say yes moment. <laughs> yeah, me too, big. man. Me too. Get fucking punished, RP nerds. <laughs> Absolutely annihilated. Yeah. Well, we're back. How long did that campaign last? Uh, Like two months, I think. Oh, okay, I think we so... Every, I think we played it every Thursday, though. We're already... No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> no, I you didn't. I remember no counting and being like 45% of the time we play. But oh. I'm glad that you remember it that way. That takes a lot of pressure off. <laughs> this is going... This one... This is going smoothly, I feel like. Yeah, I mean, all my players, like, are... Still have their, like, careers and everything intact at the end of... <laughs> oh. You still have yours. Oh, 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 oh. Well... That's in the past. <laughs> hey, it's important to remember history or you're doomed to repeat it. <laughs> you're just people going on VR chat doing that kind of <laughs> stuff. Um, so you guys send the message. Obviously, he's not going to be able to respond immediately. Uh, so you're going to wait here a day. Is there any RP you want to do in the meanwhile while you wait to see if Gilead is capable of showing up? Uh -oh. Yeah, I'd like to roleplay sleeping for sanity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'd ask Harper if it's okay if I just use her telescope constantly. <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't mind you using my telescope, but you definitely have to use it while under my supervision. If you damage this device, I would be pretty sad. Yeah, mate, I'm just trying to keep an eye out for okay, the man and, he's trying and to And again, uh, you might die if you damage it. Just want to be very clear. I ain't gonna damage it, mate. Speaking of jeopardizing hey, Gar, career. Be really careful with it. Hey, Harper. Brush his cheek softly. I'll meet you him. upstairs, Dick. <laughs> All right. That was. Oh wait, Dick. Hey, you whore! What the hell do you mean? You <laughs> what the fuck? Chuck, don't worry, Just man. Don't I'm worry. I'm gonna I, take I, a little walk nearby and try and find some herbs or something. I ain't into women, mate. <laughs> I ain't into women, mate. Hooray! Positive sanity. It's been so long. At the top of the tower, Dick. If anyone else would like to join, who is not Chuck. Well, Chuck can still <laughs> join, but she's going to be awkward about it. Uh, Helmet is going to try I'm and rough. find a, a spot for, for Killfuck. Okay. Uh, well, there, uh, uh, Dick, was it? Uh, what are we looking yeah. at today? It's still a little uh, bit bright out. I don't know if you want to wait for nighttime and we can stare at the cosmos together. Yeah. Uh, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you know that fort uh, southeast of here-ish? The consulate one. I mean, I don't know how long you've been here, mate. Um, there's not. A, there's a fort. Precisely <laughs> sure which one you're talking about, but we can try and locate it together. Yeah, it's uh, southwest of here, mate. I'm not sure we'll be able to see it, but that's the direction that I'd like to look. She when I can. will turn the telescope and try and find the direction that you're looking at and talking about. Uh, and you can see sort of the very top of a very small fort up on a built like into a hill 
that's on the exact corner of the large pathway that would lead down to the lower level. So the very corner of where the wall meets the main road. You can only really see like the ramparts stone top of the castle and infer that that might be what it is as the rest of it is obscured by the forest. All right. There it is, mate. Ah, so yeah, your, I don't know. Your friend's oh, coming I, from over there? Yeah, he works with a consulate, mate. That's a, that's a pretty neat trick you did there with that book. Uh, if yeah. I wasn't going to get, you know, burned at the stake, I might want to try and learn how to do something like that. Don't really get to talk to too many people around here. Well, the uh, the book, uh, I mean, it incinerated itself after use. So it's sort of a one-shot thing. I mean, I don't really understand how it works. But yeah, that would be nice. Seeing as you use all secluded and for life, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah. But it looks like we're going to have more guests here soon, so I'll just enjoy it while it's here and not complain about it. Uh, my apologies. Yeah, mate, I know this ain't, uh, This is a tall ask, but, you know, and I know that they probably actually kind of hate you because you read books and whatnot. But uh, suppose you could put in a good word for us if they decide to, I don't know, drag us out and kill us or something. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I suppose it depends on who is actually showing up. I thought it was just your friend. Oh, yeah, but, you know, he's... <laughs> Gilead's a little snitch, mate, and I doubt, I doubt it's just going to be him that shows up, bro. I can do my best to try and let you stay in the tower and you should be safe in here but i really can't promise oh, yeah. if a superior shows up i'm gonna have to obey what they say yeah speaking of which uh are you are you superiors bound to this oath like is literally everyone bound to this oath mate to which house the one that i'm under the uh, the one that prevents violence in the tower uh, to Good my question. knowledge, every single person should have to obey this oath. It's a very powerful, high-level version of a, the oath binding. Uh, normally, you can't really do it in a location-based area like this, but uh, sanctuaries are quite the miracle, aren't they? So, these oath binders, mate, are they, uh... Are they... So you're saying even the most powerful one would be bound to the one that binds this place, mate? As far as I understand it, and I don't think anybody really truly understands oath binding, uh, only the person who created this oath would be able to deactivate it. Suppose the man that created it also comes, mate. <laughs> wow, we're, sort of, we're really sort planning of... for the worst here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suppose he's the one who comes, all right? I mean, what's his name? What's he about, mate? Uh, well... Hold on. He is Oathmaster Guy, the most handsome man that I have ever seen and will ever meet, and he is uh, incredible. And I'm mm. not just saying that because I'm bound by oath to do it while I'm in here. <laughs> uh, is he mean? Is he noise? I think he kind of uh, resents having to be an Oathbinder in the first place and reluctantly goes along with it because fate chose him. All right. Mm, this sounds oddly similar. <laughs> <laughs> uh all right so i mean is he like compliments uh most definitely even if they're forced he will uh he'll kind of accept any compliment all right i mean i i don't know if he's coming or not it's gonna be more than one consulate man though ah uh, i don't know that you'll have to worry about that if your friend's coming from down south guy usually uh runs a cafe in the uh castle <laughs> castle well, yeah, but the main high sword castle deep within there. Not a lot of the Oathbinders oh. really get out. All right. All right. Well, yeah, anyway, if you could uh, point the telescope down a little bit, I'd like to keep an eye on the, the woods to watch their approach, mate. Oh, sure. Uh, you might uh, be interested in this handy-dandy device that I've got here. Uh, take a look at this. And she'll just give you some binoculars. <laughs> Because uh, the top of this is actually, there's no roof so that the uh, telescope can spin around. There's like a, sort of like a, there's a roof above it, but it can still rotate around inside to look up. But uh, yeah. yeah, you can just look down. Oh, wow. These things are great, mate. Oh, yeah. Very, very cool, isn't it? 
All right, well, this is what I'm going to do, man. I mean, you don't have to keep me company if you don't want to. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's fine. I, I spend a lot of my nights up here anyway, um, observing the cosmos. It's been definitely interesting lately with the uh, progenitor star uh, moving again. Oi. Never tell you I'm going to die. I, I believe that we're all going to die. Yeah, but I'm like actually dying. Me body's falling apart, mate. You do look a lot worse than the last time I saw you. <laughs> yeah, you know. What's it like? You know, you think you know you're gonna die one day. I mean, you even said it when we, when we walked in. You were you were like, oh, I assumed I was gonna die. How do you deal with that, mate? Ah. Uh... I don't know, through faith, I suppose? Imagining that there is something beyond that all of this can't be for nothing? With all of the infinite weirdness in the cosmic myths, surely there is some place where our souls are laid to rest and continue. You know, speaking of which, uh, that that head we carrying around, uh, we did a little ritual at a shrine in the woods, and... We found out when we was in Leiloon that other folk can't hear it, but it's our old friend Killfuck, and he definitely talks to us, mate. It's really him, mate. That's kind of <laughs> disturbing, but I suppose in its own way that kind of gives hope, I suppose. I mean, even if you're going to die, isn't it uh, uh, nice to know that you have at least a small percent chance to become a Delahan or even a... Um, uh, a scarred one? Scorched? Something of the sort? What's a scorched one, mate? Well, uh, the consulate. And I, I guess this is dark humor, but you may need to know this coming up soon. Uh, that uh, <laughs> when they execute individuals, they usually give them the option of being uh, beheaded, of course, because you have an opportunity to become a Dullahan. Uh, or they will light you on fire. And then there are even less who return after being lit on fire, either unfazed by the fire itself, uh, or being burned to a crisp but yet still living all right so it's like a are they the same as Dulahan? uh sort of they're held in much higher regard because the zealot faction has a lot more say in the consulate all right i mean yeah, it kind of goes along with the uh the old myth of the reborn king so they're all in on that what reborn king mate oh it's just some old tale uh they kind of pick and choose which parts of the cosmic myth they want to listen to, but, uh... The Reborn King, uh... Too long, didn't read. <laughs> I, I realize it's like a funny... Can't read. Uh... He was burned at the stake. Uh, he was yeah. sort of tortured as a human. He felt like he was betrayed, and all this sort of bad stuff happened to him, and when he was finally burned by an angry mob, uh, he didn't die, and he came back with... Well, insane cosmic powers and sort of burned everyone else alive, became the king, and became uh, a dictator that lived in paranoia for his entire reign. So, right. yeah, for some reason, they really believe in that whole story more than most of the cosmic myths, and they will, um... It kind of taught them that if you're going to execute someone, you should really let them know beforehand and be nice to them as much as you can before you kill them. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, mate. I don't know what to do, bruv. <laughs> she'll, she'll lay a hand on is your, he, your he's back. He's so sad right now. It's, he's so fucking sad. I, I think it'll. I think it'll be uh, a dick. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, have you seen Ma what's on your back? Yeah, mate. Remember you, you helped me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. Growing out from where he, the eye had previously been, still embedded halfway into his back so it wouldn't fully be able to come out, a strange rat with the similar growing hair is starting to like halfway come out where your rib cage and your spine would connect on the left side. Yeah. What, mate? What's back there, bro? I can't um, see it. I, I, it'll be okay, Dick. <laughs> yeah. You know, if there's one thing I learned in me short life, it's about the journey, mate, not the destination. I mean, is there any part of the cosmic myths you, you believe in? 
Can't read. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's that's unfortunately uh, where most people's education on it start to falter. <laughs> you know, I always look like a freak, mate. There's not many people willing to sit down and really hash out the universe with me. Me breath stinks. Me legs point inward. I waddled before now I limp. Me hunchback uh, allows for for expert rolling amidst bullying. You know, they used to roll me around like a little bowl. But then I found me gun. Oh, Yep, and never <laughs> sent. She's I, like kind of covering her mouth. Like, what do I say to this? <laughs> this is the most disturbing story I have ever heard. Yeah, you, you ever heard of like, uh, you know, you ever been to a town and they got like, you know, like the town drunk or the town oaf? Um, I, I suppose, yes. Yeah, I, I filled the role town oaf. They, they would spit on me, kick me, whatnot. Eventually, I, eventually I left, mate. Waddled through a fucking trash heap one day. Found me gun. Now, no one bullies me, mate. Well, I got, I got friends. The optimistic side of me wants to hope that tomorrow or whenever your friend arrives, it'll kind of be like finding your gun again. <laughs> Please. Uh, uh, listen, all right, about that. It, let let this leave me to me ruminations after I say this. But if you <laughs> if you could show us any kindness, mate, for everything we've done for you, and I, I know you've helped us a lot too. If you could show, it, <laughs> please try to defend us, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's not gonna be good, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna try me best. D it, Dick, it Dick, I don't understand. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? You you called him. I'm gonna die anyway, mate. Look, I figure at the end of the day, you know, I made I made some mistakes. I trusted Radiant Mike when I shouldn't have. I loved him. Now I don't. Killed a lot of people. I mean, most of them deserved it. They were a disorder. The bandits. I mean, I was essentially a, a bandit when I worked for them. <laughs> I just figure, you know, before I die, uh, I ought to try to do something nice. So that maybe at the end of the line, when I'm judged, uh, they'll say, all right, maybe it's not eternal burning or whatever <laughs> happens for you. <laughs> oh, maybe, wow. you just get, maybe, maybe you just get poking forever or something you know mate yeah uh, or... i think it's gonna turn out all right dick i don't think you need to worry about any of that well that's, that's why i'm doing it mate and you know bless me friends because they decided to go along with it i don't know if you believe it'll do any good but i suppose i can pray for you or something like that yeah you know actually mate just do what you normally do. <laughs> Don't pray, mate. <laughs> Don't pray for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm already damned to hell. <laughs> she will overcome the overwhelming stench that radiates from the disgusting half-formed rat baby back and lean on Dick's good side, trying to not crush the gigantic nose that it has and will oh hug God. Dick. <laughs> It's Thanks, a, mate. It, it's gonna be okay. I ain't ever been hugged before, mate. Well, it's not true, Radiant <laughs> might hug me, but he was a fucking lying slut. <laughs> You're living a hard life, and... You know, no matter what happens after this, maybe there is something better for you. I uh, hope so, mate. Because if, I... if it's not, mate, I just don't know if I can carry on. Anymore. Don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pulls him, pulls him away. <laughs> nice, it'll, 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 it'll be okay. It'll be alright. All right. all right, mate. All right. <laughs> just, just have faith. If, if you think negative thoughts, negative things will follow. All right. Uh, and she's that. I think it's just gonna go like that for a while, <laughs> and we can we can go to like, is Helmet doing anything with the one floor down? 
Uh, he's uh put uh kill fuck on the table there, and then he's gonna go back downstairs. Okay. <laughs> nice. He looks happy there. Yeah, he just sort of really chilling just out. leaving kill fuck by himself. Anything, well, you know, anything else from might. this group? At least he might. Oh. I'm sick of carrying <sighs> your hand. No, I understand. I can uh, I can fucking read now, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe I, I want to read like uh, one of the one of the books. One of the ones that she reads. Okay. If I read like a spine of a book to see what the book is, does that fuck me up? Uh, books don't have writing on the outside of them because that would expose people who don't want to read to madness. Yeah, okay. I want to I want to look for a book that uh does has no dust on it. Okay, are you asking for permission? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I should go up and ask. <laughs> Flaherty has been uh, is climbing the ladder to the died. top and has been oh. halfway up the ladder and has overheard a, a decent chunk yeah. of the conversation with Dick and kind of paused and was like, wait, I shouldn't come up right now. <laughs> yeah, and it's been yeah. like stuck in the middle. Uh, she's gonna, Flaherty's going to pretend that she's just shown up like, oh, there you are. I was looking for ages. Oh, oh, it's a hard part. If you got any books I can read. Um, um, books? Books you can read. You, oh, oh my. You guys are really pushing it, aren't you? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, uh, uh, come over here. How come you read so many books and you're fine? Um, I don't know. I think I'm <laughs> Excuse me. kind of good at it. And that's also why this sanctuary was created in the first place, so that I could do research. And if I ever did go crazy and hurt anyone, it would kill me. So, is that like a book I could try that wouldn't be too bad? I mean... <laughs> she kind of looks at Dick, actually, to see what he thinks about this, but he's probably self-absorbed in his own pity. No, I mean, Dick really... Yeah, she's a smart lass, mate. I mean, I don't know if she's as smart as you, bro, but... I, I don't see why not. I can make out a book and... Sure, sure. Um... Are you going to be okay alone up here, Dick? Yeah, man. I'm, look, I'm, I ain't going to kill myself. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there's too much work to be done, mate. Don't worry about me. Uh, do you think uh, I can hold your gun? <laughs> yeah, mate. All, all right. Thank you, Dick. You know, I don't let anyone hold me gun, mate, but, you know. That's, Dick's never let anyone hold his gun. I, I kind of wish we could have met sooner, Dick, before this <laughs> rot infested your whole body. <laughs> yeah, me too, mate. This dick oh, goes uh, back to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I see this fucking abomination <laughs> that's like climbing up? Yes, you can see half of the face like sort of embedded in his back. <laughs> <He's> squeaking. <laughs> Did it make a noise of me? Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ, what is that? <laughs> I don't know, mate. Um, Flaherty, come, come, come downstairs with me. We'll get you to no, set up with a book. Let me look at it. I need to look at it. Oh, please, please, Flaherty. He's going through a lot right now. Do you think? I, do you think I could pull it out? I, I think you, you might kill Is him. It, Flaherty's gonna like just like touch it and see if it can come loose. Yeah, touch it how? <laughs> just like pet it. Kind of nudge it, right? <laughs> is it like is it like fused with his body yes like like its hand is like palm down still like attached to the skin and embed it hmm. within it, dick's flesh i think you're gonna be a father always Aww. wanted to be mate That's got, like, nice. a wee, you've got a wee little son growing back here what's he look like describe him to me he looks just like you it's uncanny oh, the apple of me eye the apple on me back. <laughs> Genuinely, Dick, it's like your little clone. That's fucking gross, mate. <laughs> but it's I love really, him. It's horrifying, but something to look forward to, eh? Just, can you... <laughs> what's he have a tail? Buddy, he's, a, he's a noisy little fella. Yeah, mate. Well, maybe I should feed him with something, mate. I, I think he's feeding <laughs> off of you, to be honest. So maybe just keep yourself fed. All you know? right. Okay. I mean, you're a woman, mate. You have a bread. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, mate. I don't know what's happening, bro. 
You have more experience in this than I do, evidently. <laughs> should have used protection, mate. I that you should have. <laughs> I'll, I'll love him no matter what, bruv. Even if it kills me. That's the spirit. Uh, are we ready to go, please? He's he's been through please a lot God, lately. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I see that there is a someone what left the a fuck left a head on back? my table. <laughs> Flaherty, oh, uh, I I have no idea. Greetings, hello. Oh, Sorry, I, I thought I, I just. I don't know how to help him. I I don't know what to do. He he thinks it's all gonna end. He thinks this is his last day on Earth. He's got a he's got a rat in his back. Listen. I've never seen anyone more resilient than old Dick, okay? He should have been dead months ago. Oh, he should be dead now. <laughs> the fact that he's even alive is sheer fucking will. Okay? If anyone's going to survive this, it's Dick. Anyway, what books you got? Um, uh, any topic uh, that piques your interest? Laherty, are you reading? Yes, Killfuck, I'm reading. <laughs> oh, I'm interested. Have you got anything on prosperity? Um, well, technically, prosperity is the higher form of reading, and uh, a lot of things could be considered prosperity, if you could narrow it down for me. O okay, um, prosperity for dummies. Um, <laughs> let's see. If Mysticism? There's... That's the opposite. I know. Uh, here, you could, uh, you could take this book. Okay. What's this? Um, the closest thing that I have, uh, to prosperity for dummies. Okay, right, kill fuck. I'm gonna read the book. Oh, okay, just trying to move me out of the way, if that's all right. Oh, there I go, okay. <laughs> there you go. Um, I'm gonna you... close my eyes so I don't accidentally read something. You can't fucking read anyway, can you? No, I can't read. I'm completely illiterate. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. <laughs> that, I mean, just in case I accidentally saw something and I didn't want to see. You know what I mean. Uh huh. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Uh, Flatty will open the cover and read the first page. All right, I'm gonna have you continue doing that. You don't have any immediate adverse reactions, and you sort of get <clears throat> invested in what you're reading. In uh, it has a lot to do with the foundational functions of how uh, a lot of wealth magic actually works, and some basics to uh, prosperity. Cool. Okay. Uh, and we can conclude a little bit more of that later. Sweet. All right. <clears throat> Anyone downstairs? Chuck, helmet, or we're going to progress uh, one day so that um, <clears throat> the Gilead situation can be resolved. Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm still resting, so. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I don't know. I really have much to do. Yep. Then Harper is... Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm gonna lock herself in her room and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. That Smart. Seems like the best thing she could do right now. Her telescope is occupied by. There's a lot going well, on. I'm gonna I'm gonna knock oh, on her man. door then in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> As Flaherty, would you read through the night? You're still entranced by the book to get if, like full if value. I was like enthralled by it. Yeah. yeah. Would then you're you're just out there with candlelight, still kind of looking over the tome. Uh, Chuck walks by, conversing with Killfuck. knocks on the hey door. Guys. Knock, knock. A Harper does not respond. Knocks again. <laughs> Yo, Chuck, I think she's playing hard to get. Chuck, what time uh, is it? I I was hoping it was lovemaking time. Are you being a sex pest? <laughs> no. What? A sex pest. What's that? It's when you pester someone for sex. Well, you know, I'm not pestering. I just thought I would offer it since it was so great last time. Oh, I mm -hmm. okay then. Well, hey, what you reading? Me, uh, a book on prosperity. Oh, you learn anything? A lot, actually. Oh, really? Like what? Just like <laughs> the founding principles of prosperity, and you don't fucking care. Just go knock on the door. <laughs> All right. Yeah, go pester her some more. I'm going to go back to bed. Oh, giving no, up that I'm... easy, are you? Oh, all alone, I yeah. see. Yeah. Oh, didn't realize you was a quitter. Shut up, kill fuck. <laughs> Even if she wanted it from you, you couldn't do anything, you bodiless fuck. Hey, listen. <laughs> I, I've still got a mouth, don't I? 
<laughs> yeah, I wish Dude. you'd shut it sometimes. <laughs> Good night, Chuck. <laughs> All right, I got nothing. Flaherty has been entranced reading this book on prosperity throughout the whole night. She kind of has ignored everything else, been fully sucked into the book, and be able to, to learn some information about it. I'm um, going to hit you with a wee little mm. mind check. Did that do anything? I heard it. I heard it, too. I think I did the wrong one. Her sanity didn't change. <laughs> Based. 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 Do you still have your lunch? Yeah. Lunch. Oh my god, that has to be. <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's a hard challenge. Ouch. Rolled an Wait, 18. It did pretty good though. Yeah. That's as high as you could roll. Yeah. It could have been way worse. <clears throat> Flaherty has been holding her own the whole night, and only as she starts to get the end of it and starts to understand a grasp of what she's been reading has she realized that the whole time she has sort of been hearing like a thumping in her head. Like, she hasn't even realized that she has been connecting to the book the whole time, but as she's able to pull herself away from it, it hasn't been, fortunately, doing all that much damage to her brain. She's learned a lot of interesting oh. little facts about prosperity and how it all works. Some of it a little bit surprising and possibly even heretical as the book draws some correlation between um, the occult madness of the world that the consulate is always trying to prevent basically being an identical form of magic to uh, all of the wealth magic and prosperity that exists. Prosperity really is just a higher form of occult magic that is more um, restrictive and more protected by mankind. Um, do you have any specific question about wealth that I could answer or I could just ramble, ramble a, like a random fact? No, yeah, just hit me with something random. That'd be fun. Uh, inside this book, you discover that there is a gigantic contraption inside the capital city, which has been made out of void metal, which is resistant to any form of myriad so it completely negates any of the occult magic that exists so it can't be tampered with through any means like that and this gigantic sort of like in, it's like a skyscraper sized building machine that calculates the current wealth value of a lot of the most important things that are used throughout the world so when salt or some common material is used for wealth magic it is backed up by a reinforced specific value. And because the value of uh, the wealth that you use is so specifically reinforced and is an exact number and means an exact thing, it's kind of the same thing as reading, where one wealth is one. And that from math, the way that you would uh, infer information from reading, the material components of wealth basically operate as a a safety measure to do a form of occult spellcasting but with money right right she would better understand the value of wealth in relation to spells nods nodders Ooh. cool 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 well let me hit you with a bit of people arriving in the morning. Hey, I got a question. Yep. This alchemist potion, I could only use it once, right? Yes. Damn, I was just going to chug it. <laughs> Why not? I already used it. Oh. I think, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think you did. Did I use this? Uh, you tried to give it to the farmer, but you didn't actually use it. Wait, 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 wait. I feel like you used that. I remember you picking injuries. And I remember, yeah, you used it. I don't know why it's still on your, your character. Uh, yeah, because that's how I got the sanity shield. Yes? No. No, I got the sanity yeah. shield for leveling up. I noticed, uh... Yeah, but you leveled up by using a hundred thingy. 
His his yeah, daily so what his, the fuck did I, his daily charges didn't get refreshed as well. Oh, I upgraded. Oh, someone's saying I upgraded my uh my oh yeah, I got concoction now. Yeah, you upgraded your firebomb and it can be a bunch of different stuff yeah. now, right? Well that's not what the potion does. Uh, oh, I do, yeah, does. I do Sorry. remember him using it at that point, yeah. Because I remember it offers rolling. four random passive skills and I think it upgraded concoction. Cock! Yeah, now you can choose fire, poison, or blight when you throw it. Yeah, and it costs no okay. And it doesn't cost wealth. Nice. OP. Um, where would everyone be in the morning? I'd be up uh, top. I slept I up top. I'd be asleep on the desk. I'd be sleeping outside of uh, Harper's <laughs> door. Um, <laughs> okay, I well, think, she uh, she has come downstairs. Like no, you're not there. She's in her workbench. She, like, uh, okay. steps over him in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the helmet would be, I guess, leaned up against this stuff here. Okay. Well, I'll just Kill. cut to it. Killfuck has to find uh, anyway. Gilliard arrives oh. at the front door. Oh! Studio audience claps and woos. Let, let me get... Yay. Let me get some uh, Gilliard has arrived tunes. <clears throat> is there anything I need to know? Not much. Oh, this is going to be so awkward okay. when Harper and Gilliard meet. Holy fuck, who the hell is that? <laughs> ah! Gilliard has arrived with a hand of the consulate, Marson. This motherfucker. Some of you may remember <laughs> Marson <laughs> from a previous campaign. Uh, but the hand of the consulate since then, I don't want to get you the wrong impression that you were basically almost able to defeat him in combat. Uh, the way the lore and everything works now is that the hands of the consulate are, I would put them for like a comparison somewhere of like an angel level. They are uh, uncontestably powerful in a 1v1 situation. And if you were going to actually kill one, it would probably require a couple episodes of a campaign of like you Dude, even figuring out a way to set it up and do it. First characters must have been to have got this guy to like one health. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying is that that first campaign wasn't completely canon and it has changed a little bit that they are placed much higher and much more significant in their role oh you buffed them because these fucking clowns almost killed him <laughs> yeah literally that's why and dude when we killed him he like he like fucking bubble halfed as well like he, he yeah. fucking god mode in him that's um funny. as flaherty might have even read about last night the hands of the consulate are empowered by the fact that within that gigantic wealth machine, the actual lives of the hands are valued. And the coins that he wears on his armor are worth about 10,000 wealth each. <laughs> so he is, in a way, the embodiment of opulence, mankind, humanity, and the value of wealth. Yeah. <clears throat> um, They... Enter, uh, and Marson, you can feel his, like, the radiance coming off of him that, like, you can just sense the aura around him of stress that he creates, the significance, like, you're not under the impression that you could take this guy. Uh, he will gesture to Gilliard to introduce himself first as, uh, Marson takes a little bit of a step back and allows Gilliard to handle the situation. Hey, what's, what's up, up guys? Oh fuck! Morning, Gilead. Oh, it's hey. good to see you. Wait, why is no one surprised I'm not dead? <laughs> why would well, you be dead? We knew you wouldn't die. I, but I told you to tell them I was dead. I know, but I couldn't. I told them the truth eventually because they were. Chuck was incredibly sad that you died, and it was a bummer. Oh. <laughs> Goes back upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, did he die or something? Grabs Killfuck's head. No, he's around here somewhere. Oh, hey, Gilliard, good. look, it's Killfuck. <laughs> oh, Gilliard, hello. Can nice to him? see you again. I assume I can't. Uh, you cannot hear him. I see Chuck's gone crazy. What are you I'm talking about? No crazier I, than normal. Well, also, Why you didn't you... know that Killfuck was dead. Uh... Things yeah, well, happened. he's holding his head. So <laughs> yeah, I was... I'm saying now that it might be a little <laughs> bit more shocking. I mean, how could you know that? 
Rumors of my death were greatly exaggerated. <laughs> I, no, but I, I am dead. Did you guys kill kill fuck? No, no mate. What? No. Battle. No. Well, tell him what kill fuck. What the hell fuck, happened to him? Kill fuck. Tell him what happened. Kill fuck was... can't talk. He's dead. I was torn limb from limb by horrible flesh beast. You know. He was usual. torn limb from limb by horrible flesh beast. Yep. That's what I just we did avenge like a, him. It sounds like a fitting end for him. And then we beheaded him just on the chance he might become a Dalahan. Uh, ahem, uh, I don't believe we're here to discuss your friendships. Uh, I think there's much more pressing matters at hand. Ooh. You know it's a pleasure we to meet the hand of the consulate as well. Uh, another individual standing on the opposite side of Gilead. Uh, this is um, unfortunately, Guy, the Oathbinder who created the oath which binds the sanctuary, <laughs> was placed inside oh, the uh, the fortification Janet with Marnstone so that Janet he could aid with the the onslaught down there. Uh, as they regularly oathbind uh, people to service of the consulate uh, for as long as they need them. Uh, and he Sorry, will lead the conversation more more than more. Marsone. All right, so which one of you were all of uh, Gilead's weirdo friends? Me. Uh, all of us. That, would that one. Uh, are, are we all present? Uh, uh, yeah. Technically, it looks like. Yes. I mean, Killfuck's dead, but. Yeah. He's not dead. He's talking dead. to you this whole time. I'm dead. I'm doing air quotes, but you can't see them because I don't have hands. All right. <laughs> uh, could we all go outside and, and talk for a little bit? <laughs> uh... I'd probably prefer if we talk inside. <laughs> Wait, why do you guys not want to talk? Oh, wait, I mean, should we introduce ourselves first, mate? Uh, I suppose if you could all line up and say your little names and tell us a little bit about yourselves. Uh, me name's Dick Clifford. Come from a small town in the mainland. Used to shovel stables. Uh, got a gun. That's me, <laughs> mate. Do we hear murps off of his back? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only when it's like getting poked at. Okay, just making sure. Uh, I'm Flaherty, I'm a Dalahan. Uh, and um, I was with Gelliard until recently. Uh, go to, go to the weirdo in the back with the skull, you know, carrying around the head. Could you, you know, come down here as well? I'm okay up here. <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, come down and uh, could you leave Killfuck upstairs just for a bit? Oh, yes, of course. Leave me out of the discussion with my yeah. former teammate. Fine. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Sorry, Killfuck. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You guys really liked Killfuck bringing him around. Does it go back downstairs? <laughs> I can explain that in a wee bit. It's not terribly important right now. Uh, Gilly would lean into Marsone and like whisper in his ear like, Yeah, Chuck's the one. Uh, he's, the, he's the real big problem. It's probably why he's not coming down. <laughs> Marsone nods. If he could come down. Remembering what he's been told. Okay, here I come. All right. What's up? Uh, Marsone speaks. If you would come down here, we could hurry this along. Your insolence oh. doesn't make your stance any stronger. Oh, Chuck, Christ. you should definitely listen to the hand, Chuck. Come on. I'm What's sure up, we could all come to an amenable agreement here. I'm gonna come talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go outside, mate. Let's go outside, mate. Oh, oh, thank you very much. That, that's going to save me a lot of work. Uh, everyone, let's go. Oh, Jesus Christ. What do you mean, let's go outside? <laughs> Nick, are you sure about this? Yeah, mate. Jesus <laughs> Oh, Dick's just ready to die. <laughs> Harper will also join you kind of in awe of the, um, the, the human you well. Come on, Nobody woke him up. <laughs> uh, one second. She's gonna flick the helmet. We cut your lummox. We gotta go outside. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. We're going outside. Uh, oh, he kind of groggily wanders out. Scary. All right. All right, mate. We're just gonna lay it out there, plain and simple. Okay. Now. First of all, good to meet you. Uh, Hello. He solemnly we, nods. We used to be employed by the Aegis Order. Right. Gilliard, you're looking I, good. I'd like to point out that they're talking about right. him. I was never employed by anybody. Oh, wait, wait, hold, hold on a second. You're all like, you're going to come clean now that, that we're here. Well, like, that's, why we, like that's why we, 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 called, we, we called you here to come yeah, clean. Yeah, we called mate. you here. 
Oh, you. using telepathy, apparently. Kind of weird, guys. <laughs> well, we did it. We can... I was surprised that Fleur and you had to do stuff that. Here? I mean, uh, you, you don't have to explain what you've done and who you are. Uh, we already are well aware of everything that you guys have done. Um, the the yes, flesh right. meteors, your involvement in all of that, your uh, fondling, uh, absconding uh, with the Aegis Order. Fondling? I once again, like to point out that that wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway. I'd also like to point out that I nothing I've that done is. isn't anything that Gilliard hasn't done. But, uh, <laughs> but Gilliard <laughs> immediately... As soon as things became a problem, came to us with honesty, open arms, and I understood his position. That's you what we're are. doing now. Hey, no, hold, 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 hold on. No, that's what we're doing now. We're doing that no, right now. Listen, we called you guys listen, here. Are listen, you listen. speaking over me? No, mate. Sorry. No, sorry. I'm speaking <laughs> under you because you're oh, that uh, much Mr. more Hunt. powerful, obviously. I am well aware of what you've done in Eden, the family you killed, and everything associated with such. Family they killed? Well, that was yeah, a bit of a miscommunication. We're a miscommunication got how? Power. To hear it from the source, Chuck. You're talking about with the troll? I'm talking about the son that you killed. <laughs> Chauncey McStein Jr. I personally oh, investigated that murder. I remember seeing you all inside the tavern. Had only mm -hmm. I known what you would be doing. What it da Well, that's convenient. Uh, listen, here's the thing about that murder is uh, the ship captain really made Dude, us Dick believe. Dick kicks Chuck in the fucking Ow. leg. Ah. Oof. <laughs> Ah, uh, why'd you kick me? He Are does not need your help, and you all be judged individually. All right. That's yes, sir, happy. mate. <laughs> all right. Why don't we do it this way? Let me rearrange you. Flaherty, over here. <laughs> oh, how is he doing that? He, he kind of will, like, shuffle that? you around with his hands. He has no problem pushing you around. Uh, and I don't think you're going to, like, resist if, you, if you're saying you want to, like... Fight back. Are we good? No. Backs up slightly <laughs> okay. out of order. <laughs> so you start up separate. Let us start with the Dullahan. How disappointed I am that this is your second chance at life and you've already decided to waste it. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I am sorry that I didn't come to the consulate right away with Gelliard, but my intentions were the same and we tried to stop the bomb. And I have since investigated and found the source of the bombs. And that's why I called Gilliard. Is everything she's saying true, Gilliard? I mean, I wasn't quite with her, but she did try to stop the bomb with me. Everything after that, I don't know. Except for what I told you about the message. How complicit was she in the murder of Chauncey McStein? <laughs> uh, I think... She was kind of freaked out as well, but uh, I, I I don't remember if she lit the body on fire or not. She does that sometimes. I definitely didn't that time. <laughs> I believe I would go easier on you if you weren't already given a second chance. What did you waste your first life on? Um, a pursuit of happiness? That didn't seem to work out. <laughs> no, I was uh, murdered by my beloved. So technically this is my first chance because I didn't really get one the first time. Marcone will quickly, before you even notice, kick you in the shin so hard it fractures your shin and you fall to a Whoa. knee. <laughs> Uh, this was I, I would idea. apply the injury if it were relevant, but we'll handle anything that we need to handle afterwards. Uh oh. You're lying. Oh, fuck. What do you mean I'm lying? You were not killed by your beloved. What really happened? I was killed by my beloved. Uh oh. 
<laughs> Other shit. Change your lore <laughs> now. <laughs> is that what we're sticking with? Anything else you want to point out about her, Gilead? Uh, she she kind of just goes along with the flow a lot. So are the others the bad influence? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they are. My leg. Whispers to Dick. <laughs> fucking plan. <laughs> Actually. What did lead you all to think it was a good idea to telepathically communicate with your ex? Do you mean Gilead? Yep. Well, we found the source of the problem and we thought that if we could fix it, we'd be forgiven in the eyes of the consulate. But Gilead's a strong warrior and we needed his help. I think Marceau's stronger. That's true. I, I didn't know he would be coming. Dick. Ah, my fucking leg. What yes, is sir. the source that she is referring to? Uh, oh, God. <laughs> so, we learned from Radiant Moik, the filth cultist, who's taken up in Leiloon, that there's a troll who he seemed awfully scared of. He mentioned wanting to meet him and then the Disordered to change his mind and gather up his cult in Leiloon. There's a troll somewhere on the northwestern wall uh, in a hut of some sort that is uh, apparently responsible for assembling these flesh medias or whatever, mate. He seems scared of them, bruv, and honestly, <laughs> uh, Radiant Moik, I'm sure you've heard of him, sir. He's a... <laughs> A, I have not a, heard of him, but oh I was my. wondering what you were doing, surrounding yourselves with even more questionable individuals such as a filth cultist. Mate, it's a long story. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was entrenched by Radiant, Radiant Mike's supple cheeks and fell in love with him, sir. On the boat, on the way here, we got separated post-shipwreck. Uh, ran into him after we enlisted in the Aegis Order, and... Uh, uh, let's just say he convinced me to do some things I ought not to have done, sir. Like what? Well, <laughs> the, the, uh, it, for the purpose of our happy reunion, sir, he insisted that uh, for our second mission, or maybe it was our first, I can't recall, I think. I don't know if killing that bear counts as our first mission for the Aegis Order, but... He knew we was going into the basement of the keep that the, the order seized or whatever. And he said, he looked, he grabbed me on the shoulder and he looked me in the eye and he said, Dick, whatever happens, you need to let it happen, mate. And I trusted him. That is quite an interesting tale. And there's one more little bit of information that I think you may have left out. Which one, sir? Who was this man traveling with? <laughs> the old lady is oh. short in the back of the head, sir. <laughs> he kind of just nods along. Is almost surprised that you'd be honest and open about it, uh, confirming his suspicions that something happened to Margaret when uh, she traveled north to try and fix the canal. I, I suppose that's all behind us anyway, because the canal's fucked. What? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah. I, I, uh, what? let's just, let's just say, sir, that, uh, I mean, I don't know if you lot have any better leads than what we've got. But well, I want to be clear. What? I'm not forgiving you for killing no, someone I'm, contracted I'm, to do work for the consulate in cold yeah, blood yeah, within yeah, Aegis sir. Order Castle, which should yes. not have even been operating from that place in the first place. Yes, you should, uh, you should ask him why uh, he killed her. Yeah, I, ki I killed her so that we would increase our profits, sir, because if she fixed the canal, then uh, less people would be traveling by land, which means we wouldn't be able to have taxed them as much, sir. Hmm. That said... <laughs> he actually uh, takes a step back and is like, hmm, I kind of respect that. <laughs> uh, that's why I did it. Uh, it was quick. Uh... Mercy killing, I guess, technically. Um, 
Yeah. So, you know, I got, I mean, what was your question? Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Sir. I'm a little nervous right now. I will admit. I mean, fucking leg. The <laughs> zone moves down to Chuck. I got my fucking leg broken for saying my boyfriend killed me and he just made three murders and he got fucking high five. <laughs> I'm really not Hello. sure what you could say Wait, that man. would explain <laughs> why you tried to make a ritual out of the murdered captain's son in his own home. You know, things just went bad. <laughs> it went bad. Uh, we were so dedicated to joining the Angus Order. <laughs> That I just wanted to make sure that we got there uh, without any problems. The ship captain asked us to rectify his uh, son's relation issues. And uh, I'll be honest with you, that woman was very clearly having sex with that troll and he was depressed about it. <laughs> he was a sad, sad man. He was depressed. If anything, we did him a favor. All right. That was a sad man. And she was cheating on him the whole time. With their uh, farmhand. Marson will draw his sword. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you have any final words? <laughs> All right. Okay. Hang on a minute. No, Hold on. Gonna, Hold you're on. Not gonna, you're not going to know. Hold really on. Think. Okay. Look, there has to be something I could do. Something. <laughs> or you could try incepting him like you did the, the wife with the troll. <laughs> Misdirection. <laughs> no. oh, no. Okay, one turn goes by And he cleaves you with his sword Splattering oh. your blood across the wall Your body nearly exploding from the might of his swing oh my God, no. I can't use this I just can't I just can't use it <laughs> Why was Dick allowed to Okay you know what? I, right. I, I tried to explain it like four fucking times, dude. What a what a good plan. <laughs> also, a I'm alive. Maybe if you fucking listen to me, man. I was honest with them. No, you were not. I said sorry. <laughs> you were, <laughs> were you? Were you? Though? Was that even oh, honest? Oh, quit being coy. <laughs> and their minds were made up. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good at detecting occult magic from the people in front of him as well. Terrible plan. <laughs> well then, what to do with the rest of you? Can I can I ask Flaherty a question real quick? Oh, it sort of like slinks into the corner here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When Go the ahead, hell, Gilead. Hey, hey, Flaherty, when the hell did Dick become so, like, coherent? <sighs> oh, mate. I had me heartbroken. That'll do uh, it. That's it. That's unfortunate. Who, who is that, by the way? Oh, no, I'm just part of the wall, mate. There. <laughs> it'll it'll kind of like kick some of Chuck's remains, <laughs> like like kicking dirt in the ground. Here, come, come here. Come here. Uh, no, I, I can't move. You know, I'm part of the wall. Yeah, it's just I'm part of the tower, you know, I can't really... Who the fuck is this guy? Sir, that, I, that I is, don't know, it, sir. His name's Helmet. He was in Harper's Tower when we arrived and he joined us. An unfortunate association. Yeah, I don't I don't really know the... Okay, bye. Uh, sir, he, he hasn't done anything, sir. Flaherty. I would give you choices, but I don't think you deserve them. Do you have any final words? No. <laughs> no. Sir, this one, this was a terrible plan. <laughs> this was sir, just the wrong. Sir, Why sir, would we do this? Then you're sir, muted if you if you're sir, not AFK. Sir. Why? Uh, Flatty is like clutching her leg, and she looks up. And she says. Allow me to make amends. I promise you I'll make the right choice. How would you like to make amends? However you deem necessary. What are your skills? Um, I can... I can wield 
Opulence? If you have skills, you should know what they are. Speak up. I can wield opulence. I can mend wounds. I can create fire. How does a life of servitude sound? Better than a death? I'll consider it. Dick. Yes, sir. I appreciate how forth right you are being about all this information. You remind me a bit of Gilead. Perhaps you've learned something from him. Yes, sir. However, what is growing out of your back? Well, what is growing out the, of his back? The, the product of me, uh, infatuation with Radiant Mike, sir. Absolutely disgusting. An abomination. Yes, sir. Uh, examinations indicate I'll be dying soon. Then I suppose you wouldn't mind being burned at the stake. Uh, if if it pleases the hand, sir, uh, perhaps you would be willing to allow us the opportunity to kill the troll responsible, uh, after which I submit to your judgment, sir. The information about this troll is appreciated if it turns out to be true. However, with the forces amassed, I don't think we need your help anymore. Um, I believe killing Dick would be a mistake. I believe that his physical being is an abomination and a disgrace oh. to all humanity. No, to have I agree, your, your holiness. And lean so far into embracing nature, humanity's his, mortal enemy. His ties to Radiant Mike might be the key to stopping the bombs? May, he still loves me, I think. What are you suggesting? Mike is infatuated by him. Using yeah. his mean on the inside, sorry, part of the So world, am I supposed to let him go fuck this guy? No, sir, no, I, I, I ain't gonna... can get information. He's always wanted to do it. I don't want to do it anymore, sir. Wait, why, why don't you know? Elliot, do he's it changed. He, he, I, look, he thinks I want to, or maybe he doesn't. I'm not sure if he completely trusts me, but he did trust me enough with that information, which we extracted from him. Wait, I'm, I'm really confused. The whole reason the bomb went off is because of your love with him. And that's the whole reason I, I left. Because you were really adamant on it still going off. Mate, we, I, I, we, was you listening to anything I fucking said? Kelly, after am, we met Mike a does, second time, Dick what, realized they, that he was being used. Whoa. He changed. We've all changed. Even Chuck changed. Oh, he's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> His flatty will look at, like oh. the pair of legs. I really don't care about Chuck, to that's, be honest. Fair, oh, did. Valid. Oh, you I mean, Nate. I do. The, he did too uh, many unredeemable things, even more uh, than Dick. At first, I thought Dick was just an unintelligent mutant. You know, at least Chuck was human resemblance, so... His body is a filth that has far exceeded the disgusting disgrace that we would consider a mutant. The state of your really? body leaves me with no other option. What, which means, instead of wasting your perfectly good humans, you send me and me friends to kill his troll, and then I'll fucking- I'm gonna die anyway, mate. I could not trust you to kill a troll. Mate, why not? Uh, Harper? Put, Harper? Uh, put your trust in uh, Gilead, uh, though, uh, and uh, we will uh, help uh, him. I really- uh, I don't think I should be involved, but, uh... uh... uh no, no, I, I, I'm not asking you to speak, just- Show the good hand the gun that you've been working on me for. Um, Perhaps. I, I have, uh, a, a Dick does have a gun and he is capable of wielding uh, this firearm. Uh, listen, mate, you know, I, I, I can vouch for him. You know, I know I'm just part of the wall and everything, but like, I really do think he's trying to do some good here. Uh, also, uh, we've killed, whole, I mean, apart from innocent people, which you well know, your holiness, um, in that same basement, we fought this horrible fucking void-like thing with eight hands and whatnot. It came, it looked like I was staring <laughs> into space and it was floating there. Some cultist- Living inside the Aegis Order castle. 
Yes, mate. They never went down there, bro. We were the first people in years, I bet, to go down there, mate. Given the Aegis Order's current arrangement, I was already coming to the island with the intention of speaking with the Aegis Order and already yes, quite sir. disgusted at to find that you were all joining. But we got there misled. is nothing redeemable about this situation. You have been involved in countless atrocities, murders, <laughs> occult rituals within Eden. You are sentenced to burn at the stake. Sir. Should your body be able to withstand the flames, you will be exonerated. Yes, sir. Uh, are you sure that you are not willing to allow us to do this favor for the consulate prior to a death, sir? I am confident that if I needed it done, I could have it done much quicker. Yes, sir. Flaherty, would you like to be executed or burned? <laughs> you just offered me a life, a life of, of servitude. Is that off the table now? Hmm. Also, I have a question, Star. Yeah. Um, if I get injured, it summons an epic monster. When he kicked me in the leg, shouldn't that have just summoned like a fucking boss? True. Uh, I'm gonna resolve it all after the conversation. He's okay. just gonna fucking one shot. <laughs> and and honestly, would you like that to happen now? I just thought it might be funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's in my contract, man. I don't know. True. Whenever you gain an injury, a powerful, hostile creature will appear. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I suppose if that's the way it is, that's the way it'll be. Uh, one second. As you're having this conversation, uh, from your injury, which is set in, and would definitely become permanent, being able to un unable to get any sort of medical help or attention in your wound, really, uh, legs all fucked up. Bro, it's just a fracture, relax. Sort of this cosmic energy seeps from your leg. This, like, almost like a cosmic aura of stars flickering are gathering around you, and through the floor next to you, in a moment of, like, burning sun flames, a... Another one of these cosmic horror creatures appears next to you, coming out of the ground like it's coming through from the void and held in the air by chains represented in the, um, the complication which has given you such a blessing. What However... I don't see that every day. <laughs> given the present situation, um, you may try to do some funny business during the moments where Marcone is occupied dealing with this threat, which will be very brief because he will immediately kill you afterwards <laughs> because a cosmic horror has materialized from your wound. Uh, Flaherty's gonna like grab Dick's leg and lean up and say, get inside and then like make for the door to the tower. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you shit. Uh. Okay. <laughs> In a dramatic moment, Marstone immediately draws his sword and is ready to fight this cosmic horror. The fight doesn't last very long. He is able to deal with it. There's fighting going on outside. You don't really get to see much of it as you're running inside. Does Helmet do anything? Uh, Helmet? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Helmet will he'll fat Dark Souls fat roll into the door. He came a gun. Oh wait, Helmet, stand in front of the fucking door, mate. Don't move. <laughs> okay, whatever you say. Uh, Gilead, I trusted you, you sneak. You, what do you fucking mean? cowards. I trusted you too. This guy's gonna kill us. Oh, I was supposed to be dead. Abominations all, I feel like a fool for even insinuating 
a life of servitude for such a lowly Dullahan. Um, uh, I'd like to right. ask, am I, am I in trouble? What kind of ways out are we looking at in this tower? Open the door. <laughs> um, you are yeah, basically looking at jumping from the roof. I'm sorry, yep. We don't want any. We're not buying. Sorry. We're, Come on, take to the roof. Wait, where's my gun? <laughs> where's my gun? Harper has it. Give it to Harper. <laughs> That's fine. Is Helmet holding the door? Uh, <laughs> Come on. You know what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he's, he's going to make it seem like. Uh, sorry, uh, um, uh, something's caught in the door. I can't open it. It's stuck. Ah, sorry. Ah, jeez. Ah, duh. Guy standing behind Marcel. grand opponent that you want to die to? <laughs> has been able to buy some time. <laughs> That's true. For the people who are trying to desperately jump off the top of the tower. <laughs> as Guy begins reciting, uh, unbinding oaths to undo this as a sanctuary. So that Marcel <laughs> may enter and use any violence necessary. <laughs> Oh, yes, um, oh, so, uh, I revoke all and blah, 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 and a lot of, like, weird, very precise legalese to counteract every single thing which he had applied, uh, to this sanctuary. Oh, you just did that shit, huh? Oh. Uh, this That's takes a while, though. Uh, does Helmut <laughs> stay there the whole time? Uh, can Helmut see through the door? Yeah, there's a little eye slot so that Harper could see whoever was trying to join and she he could talk to him. He can't break down the door because of the thing, Helmut. If you want to just come with us. Oh, they've got uh, to get well, rid of the oath. Okay, uh, how many will look through the slot and look at Guy and say, "Do I know you from somewhere?" <laughs> what, what the <laughs> hell are you talking about? <laughs> this guy's, a, this guy's a maniac. Uh, I don't he'll, know he'll will walk up the stairs. Okay, uh, Marcon will have time eventually to get in. He'll direct uh, Gilliard and Guy to stand at opposite ends of the tower should they actually jump off that there's like a clear line of sight of wherever they land uh i'll take the north side and marson begins slow walking like the uh dude i don't know the act like mr x okay uh flat he's just gonna pull up this ladder to the egg <laughs> right so um Okay, looking Mate, at you guys on top. I don't know top. where we're going. <laughs> Mate. Did, what, is there a Did you pick up kill <laughs> Is there a... Yeah, I got killed. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> hey, so, hey guys, what's going on? Wait, why are you all... Why do you all look so upset? We're, we're being attacked right? by the fucking hand of the consulate. Oh, we that's all all bad for you. If, we I pull, all... how, uh, if I pull up this lattice, the, he can't come up, right? Uh... It'll be harder. <laughs> I pull up the ladder. Yeah, the, the second roll up it. Okay. I I can't actually move that, but I'll cover it. Yeah. So, is this telescope like bolted down, or is it just like really fucking heavy? Uh, it is bolted down. It has like a swivel on the bottom that it's connected to. Could we swivel it enough to put the front of it in the hole? <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be able to lower enough because of uh, this. Uh, Latty, I want to flip this table and put it over the hole. <laughs> okay. Like the heavy table. <laughs> A little big. <laughs> table. Before I put the table in, I'm also going to fucking set fire to the second floor down the hole. Oh my god. With flame scent. Okay. <laughs> Oi, hand, can you see? Can so you hear this, me, man? All this area will be on fire. <laughs> uh, do you target like the books because they're more flammable or the stairs? I target uh, well, can I could I see the books from up here? Oh, if you mean you're shooting down from where you are now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then no, I we'll just like hit this area. It would spread to the books eventually, I'm sure. Yep. Yeah. You're. Okay, any last think... things from anyone else? Flaherty's done enough. Yep. Yeah. Uh, helmet will just sit on the table. <laughs> Okay. 
May as well need a little extra. Well, Marstone keeps going, undeterred by the fire. Oy. Okay, we need to survey <laughs> the area around the tower for like a tree we can jump to. Oi! Hand! What? Uh, listen, mate, we know lots of stuff that could be really be helpful to your campaign to cleanse in this place, bruv. Ooh. It'd Ooh, be helpful if you all surrendered. Let me you're, talk to you. You're just going to kill us, so what's the point? You're, you want, you fucking cut Chuck in half, mate, and you were talking about you executing You cling us. to your instincts like the little rats that you are that grow from your pus-filled, disgusting backs. Have you no humanity <laughs> to realize your I actions are important? Okay, well, you know, that's a little rude, you know, that you're calling me out, because I haven't really done anything yet. Listen that's here, true. mate. You, you, you pat yourself on your fucking back about being a paragon human and whatnot, yet everywhere we go, we fucking meet people who can't read books, who are covered in fucking filth. So while you jerk yourself off in the capital, come here to kill us for whatever fucking reason, why don't you consider for a moment that you're not so great as you think you are, bruv? Uh, listen, dick, throw me down there. Let me talk to him. I can be the intermediary here. No, kill fuck you. I can't go down there. I sit on fire. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm dead. What am I going to do? Die more? sealed it with a table. Well, here, <laughs> open it up and toss me down. Uh. Listen, mate, we know we know a lot more about all of this than we told you even, all right? So before you come up here and kill us, maybe we can come to an agreement, bruv. Uh, Marcone, rather than trying to climb or do anything as the ladder is pulled up, is making sure all of the books inside the sanctuary are moved safely away from the fire. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kindle my flames to make the room burn faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As that happens and your your wealth magic takes effect and he recognizes what's going on and obviously what you've done. You're not making a better argument for yourself with all of this petty bullshit! Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry you asked me if I wanted to burn or die, so you didn't really give me much choice. Mate, we're just what we're just doing what we gotta do as little rats, right? I guess I choose burn, Mr. Consulate. They, 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 well then the if you choose burn, burn, come down here. Oh, no, I think I'll just stay here and do it myself. <laughs> then it's a waiting game. Listen, I'm telling well, let's you. Let's see if you, you can, can wait in a room with no oxygen. Listen, kill fuck, boss. kill fuck. They can't fucking understand you, mate. They, <laughs> no don't know can. that. Maybe it's, this guy can hear me. No, because he would have responded to you, mate. Excuse me, sir. Can you? Uh, hello? Kill fuck, I ain't throwing you down there, mate. Ah, okay. oh, fine. You'll just burn, bruv. Well, don't, you okay, wanna, don't you want to die with your old pals instead? Uh, get, I'm nobody, already dead. Nobody could survive in that room for a few more minutes. It's going to be too smoky and flamey. All right. I made oh. lava. Oh, nice, mate. <laughs> nice. Oi. These are lava tiles, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Marson walks through them and stands there at the bottom of the, uh, the opening where you can look down and see him. His body consumed by flames. You know what? My <laughs> skills would have been valuable to you. How much longer does this need to last? Oh, it's, kind of, it's heating up mate, in here. Mate, what about all the people that Radium Mike convinced to join his little cult? You don't think that there's way more people like that all over the fucking world? How much good do you think you could really do, Mike? Come in here chasing us down, killing us like dogs. How much progress have you fucking made? While Dick's talking, I'm going to kindle all the new fire blocks. Uh... Ooh. Then he's he's gonna go. He's just gonna walk down the stairs and leave. <laughs> uh, he's going to grab as many of the books as he can and sort of uh, kick down the door over here and wrap them up in like a sack that he can throw over his shoulder within a blanket uh, and just begin walking down the stairs and and exit. Hello. It's gonna really? it's gonna kind of hot up there, isn't it? Flatty's gonna look over the edge at them <laughs> I'm just gonna be people staring in the air <laughs> yeah Marstone comes downstairs and just sort of stares up at it uh, along with Harper he apologizes to Harper uh, considering she was condemned to live here and basically <laughs> has no place to live now 
Uh, and then Guy and Marson watch the tower burn. Uh, mates, yeah. up a little bit down there. Yeah, mate. Right, well, we've got a few choices. I figure we could wait till the cover of dark and then try and make a run for it. Ah, uh, how much longer is this tower going to last? <laughs> the tower's stone. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, but I'm worried to be at us. <laughs> we'll, we'll be fine. We're up here with the air. <laughs> okay. Wait, you think the tower will be fine, right? I mean, like, look at, examine the brickwork. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, if, the, all the, if all the support beams go, then the uh, whole yep. thing just collapses, doesn't it? Perhaps the molten tiles and the various wood supports throughout uh, are not even letting too much of the stone hold. It will fall eventually, though not quickly. Right, we need to figure out what to do. An escape plan. Um, Any uh, ideas? <laughs> can lava Listen, melt tower beams? I don't know. Throw, throw me down there. I'm telling you. Uh, mate, I got an idea. Okay. Wait, I have an idea too. Oh. Let's hear yours. Uh, we all shit on the ground and then start a filth ritual or something, mate. <laughs> okay. All, all right. right. You? Why do all of your plans involve this? I don't you know, man. You start doing that, and I'm going to set fire to the entire forest around the tower, okay? All right. Flatty's going to walk over to where Gilead is and fucking just throw fire. It's, it's down fire the or filth with these two, I swear. Yeah, I'm not hey. sort of naughty state. Stop that. <laughs> I'm not sure that would have too much effect considering your, your flame scent has a range of two. Yeah. tiles and you're pretty high up in the air so you would have like a flame burst like a like a dark souls I flame just burst like out of your fucking uh light a table leg and throw it okay at a tree okay let me okay. think how they would i don't think you're gonna start a forest fire <laughs> throwing tree like branches maybe Hey, forest fires start from people just not putting out cigarettes, so... I'm basically just throwing Molotovs, dog. <laughs> I, think the, I think the wind from it falling down would put it out, wouldn't it? Well, I'm, like, lighting the whole thing on fire. Like, it'll be like a burning log. Hold on, I need to think. <laughs> Wait, I have an idea. It's fine though. <laughs> what? You fucking shoot me, and we'd make more Eldritch Horrors. I don't, I don't have a gun. <laughs> Fuck. <clears throat> but they would spawn near us anyway. <laughs> they would, they yeah, would just attack true. us. I thought about that. <laughs> Man, what a screenshot. <laughs> fire next to us, just on the top floor. Dude, it was so funny because fucking Penta at the start was like, we're all going to die. And then halfway through with the admission, he was like, I feel really good about this episode, actually. Like, I think we're going to be okay. Well, it was <laughs> going well. I think so we would have been okay. killed us anyway. <laughs> it would it would have been okay, but this is a stupid fucking plan. Fuck! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yes, it was a stupid plan. Can I burn the forest <laughs> or not? I see, I see your chat blaming me for being the DM who let you guys do the stupid plan and killed you for it. No, we're getting out of this alive, dude. <laughs> me? My chat? No, my we're chat is saying, this. yeah, that was a dumb fucking plan. You guys are stupid. <laughs> yeah. When Moon was there's like, no let's walk is... outside, I was like, this is going to end I don't know really if you bad. understand my chat. My, there's no one that my chat hates more than me. <laughs> That's not how they operate. He's got thousands of hate watchers. Yeah, they're all subs. Can I burn the forest, yes or no? <laughs> no, and I think Marcone is... The most he can do is this is getting, like, way too out of hand, and he doesn't want to wait here all day that he's going to walk back up through the top. He, he can't go back. It's untenable in there. He can't... Even him. He can't go back. Look at this. It's all lava. 
Uh, Stir There's equated, probably not a floor left. Stir equated the hands of the consulate to me as like space marines, pretty much. Okay, but there's no floor left. Okay, then the thing collapses. <laughs> All right. The tower is a, a, a circle. The whole, the tower is a circle, so it would have architectural structure. The whole second floor is molten lava tiles. And yeah, you can't walk not. through it. And it's going to collapse eventually. Yeah, so if, what do if you the, do if you're while you're waiting for it to collapse? I don't think throwing mm, individual like little looking for pieces a tree of fire. To jump into. All right. Uh, there's definitely a tree, and you could definitely roll mobility to try and land on a branch on the way down and get to the bottom and run away. Yeah, but we have to. We're, is Marcel going back in? Uh, no, because we're we're on the it's collapsing. It's all covered in molten tile situation. We gotta wait for his impatience. <laughs> I think the tower is gonna get impatient. Nick, see that tree? Yeah, mate. We should go off the east side, though, bro. Yeah, get right. I see you guys looking over. I should fly out to like look over, like look at you, and then vanish. I think right, they're the about video. to do something. They're looking around. Gilead, you're such a <laughs> dick. By the way. I got I'm a strong a feeling they're about to Let's jump just clarify. Off the tower. I called you. We're on the same side. I even helped you try and get rid of the bombs. And this I is what I get. I have a strong feeling I'm about to die after calling Gilead for some reason. Marstone, they're about to jump if off I the tower. If I survive this, Gilead, I'm going to cook you like an egg. Marstone, it's 55 seconds until they kill themselves. <laughs> 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 the timer's back, baby. <laughs> Um. Ah, uh, sorry. What's the plan? Well, we've got a fucking jump, of course. Yeah, mate. Look. Okay. I, I ain't gonna make it, guys. <laughs> All right. Mate. Hey, hey, I just, get I on my back. I just, get on my back. Get on my back. Do something. Leave me. All no, right. get on my back. I'm not leaving you. All right. Listen. Here we it, go. It's been an honor. We tried to make amends, but I guess in this world. People like us just don't get to live and exist. There's no such thing as second chances. Ready? On three. Or is there? <laughs> we jump. <laughs> oh, we jump. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to jump. <laughs> okay. All uh, right. The killing yourself plan. <laughs> I got the rolls. <laughs> Finally, something exciting. Whoa. <laughs> Oh shit! Good rolls. Hey, they're good. They're all good rolls. Yeah, they are good rolls. Hold Helmet on. rolls a nine on his mobility. It is a fantastic <laughs> jump from the top of this tower. That would have to be maybe, I think, uh, somewhere around like 50, 60 feet in the air. Oh my god! Uh, That's not that bad. Helmet, uh, wearing heavy armor, with this fantastic jump absolutely just breaks everything on the floor uh yep. and will not be able to get up and run away from this <laughs> um me everything <laughs> for dick and flaherty i'm gonna give you a 25 percent <laughs> that you are able to land on the ground, not suffer enough injuries for it to matter, and to be able to actually start running. That's included. All of that is this 25%. Oh, generous. <laughs> uh, and I'll do uh, Flaherty first. Okay. Flaherty mm. smashes into the ground. Her leg was already injured. She's incapable of getting up after this and will easily be caught by uh, the three Gilead now aligned with the consulate at the bottom of the tower. Uh, and they will, at this point, simply execute her because this has gone on way too far. Uh, <laughs> Dick hits the ground next. And his but decrepit flesh body... <laughs> Wait, he's on my hobble. back. Do I break his fall? Yeah, he was. Yeah, I picked him up and put him on my back. Oh, wait, you were on Helmet's back? Yeah. yeah Dick was on Helmet's uh, back. I don't, I don't know if that would logistically Does, does that help. literally oh, okay. make it? <laughs> does that help? No, hey, I mean, like, he would, he would break the floor, <laughs> right? I, 
I would I try. Think that and, makes it worse. Yeah. I, I would try yeah. to do a, a little jump off of him right before he hits the ground. I don't. I yeah. don't fucking know. Because I you heard survive a plane crash of just jump like parachutes not working and shit and landing on grass and they like didn't break anything somehow. He gets yeah, an additional like ten percent chance for the incredible maneuver. <laughs> Come on. I don't think so, guys. The stars have been aligned. Maybe. Oh, oh you fucking did it! <laughs> Dick jumps off on Helmut's Using back. Using body as a sled. <laughs> and right near the bottom, his training kicks in, his purpose. <laughs> he kicks off of Helmut's back, pushing his face further into the ground, but somehow gets just enough of a boost or something. Physics defies itself so that Dick can roll off into a bush. <laughs> And he while Helmut as a cushion. and Flaherty are being dealt with by the forces on the ground well, floor. Flaherty, when Dick lands, Flaherty would reach out and light herself and the, the forest behind him on fire. Oh my god! <laughs> the smoldering forest covers Dick's escape, who has been wandering these forests for a few days now. Does and Dick is somehow... Still the head? He still has the head, right? He's got yeah. to still have He's the head. He's got kill okay. fuck. Okay. Dick saved three lives that day. Himself, <laughs> a baby, and kill fuck. He wouldn't kill a pregnant man, would you? <laughs> and he wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? When uh when Flatty's about to be executed, she's like burning. And the fucking consulate would be looking at her. She was like, it wasn't my beloved. It was a consulate. <laughs> uh, sure. Marcone will nod and be like yeah I knew you were lying <laughs> just fucking kill you <laughs> she's dead she already burned to death dude <laughs> oh, all right okay don't let him get a word in okay she he, don't, he doesn't get the a word. oh god for the rank hit I'd like to point out I still technically haven't done anything wrong <laughs> you were gonna be fine <laughs> <laughs> no Nar. 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 I have prepared for the uh, unfortunate outcome that everyone would die uh, an epilogue of all of the things that you've done and how they would conclude and continue. Um, all right. That's it. As a look GG. back on this adventure, Eden lost a valuable sailor, Chauncey McStein, who was willing to make the dangerous trip to High Sword. His recently married son was also murdered by Chuck leaving Kayleen McStein to inherit all entitled wealth and property. She now operates the most successful troll job center in Eden, coordinating God renting out it. the service of a network of trolls interested in aiding humanity through short-term work opportunities. Recently, domesticated trolls abandoning their tribes in the Aphetic Bog or the brave journey across the flats seek her out in a way to find their place in the civilized world. Oh, I hate that. Are there female <laughs> trolls? There are. Dude, we haven't seen one yet. Well, the shaman is. But. The murder of Chauncey McSign Jr. was fully in investigated by Marson, who arranged for early transport to High Sword Island to personally punish those who were responsible. He sought yep. to confront the Aegis Order, but it was unfortunately <laughs> destroyed not long after his arrival. In a strange way, Chuck murdering the son may have ended up saving countless lives as Marcone's early presence on the island greatly expedited the consulate response time to the emerging threat of cosmic flesh meteors. The hero. Hero. <laughs> what a hero. Here goes my hero. Yeah. The hero. boat sinking due to the murder of the captain's son may have yet another silver lining. A large box was wrapped in chains, uh, wrapped in chains in the below deck amongst the passengers. Its cargo reaching High Sword would have set a very dangerous precedent that I can't talk more about, but there is uh, probably some other campaign that will delve into what that was. It may still reach the island, but it would be heavily delayed due to the ship sinking. Radiant Mike again, Suska? Radiant Mike too? Uh, I believe we went over <laughs> this next one that... Uh, the party crossed paths with Prophet Avery, living a delusional life, secluded away from the rest of High Sword Island in a village called Clamtopia. He prophesied that the world would sink into the bottomless ocean, believing that High Sword was the only safe place uh, in the world because it is uh, determined by fate to be saved by Sam Essica, 
the Great Serpent. His prophecy would never come true despite his efforts to create filth rituals to encourage the ocean to devour the mainland. A small and pathetic ritual you saw on your way out, one prophet Avery would revisit with the path out of Clantopia being cleared. His desperate, uh, his desperation to correct his errors of the past and that uh, ritual would uh, increase. So, yeah, the rest of, you, I basically talked about all this already with the, uh, the girl in town who was saying that he became more desperate and more powerful and kind of started turning Clamtopia into a filth cult, filth cult of its own, gaining more power from the progenitor planet misalignment. Hmm. So that whole area is a bit fucked up too. Okay. Uh, the destruction of the Aegis Order on High Sword is no small thing either. A demonstration of their incompetence or the danger that the organization poses as a whole. This strikes a heavy blow to the trust common folk have in the Aegis Order and may ultimately lead to the town of Sideways being occupied by the Consulate, which has, from the previous campaign, been an ongoing thing that may have a little bit more later as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, am I allowed? Never mind. What? About my previous character. Is that known? Uh, not yet. Okay. The, cult, the cultist who created the Flesh Meteor Rituals remains elusive. One member of the Arbon family associated with the Solstice Society roams free with a dangerous knowledge and lack of restraint, likely to reach the title of Ascendant. Something that you don't really know what that is, but it's not good. Hmm. It would take some time, but the Consulate would gather the strength to be fully capable of cleansing the Flesh Meteors with Holy Fire. The first meteor would require three hands of the Consulate to join together and vanquish all creatures spawning from the putrid lump. They gather three champions, Saints of Opulence, Ignatius the Thrice Burned, Vicaria the of the Bloodless Memory, the dragon riding uh, consulate member that Gilead was interested in, which is why he decided so much to side with the consulate, and Marcone was able to join them. Uh, speaking of which, uh, a lot of uh, the discussion with what happened with... Um, Gilliard happened uh, after the previous session, and Gilliard, I think it's pretty much explained immediately, just as honest as he always was, went to Marcone and explained everything, and was put into service defending that fort that he was uh, residing at. Oh, really? So, so yeah, no obviously he, he insta-snitched, and um, Marcone showed him some mercy to see if he would... If he provided service to humanity in defending that fort while the Flesh Meteors were still in existence, he would help him find his place in life after the whole uh, situation was resolved. So Fucking he was snitches. pretty much bribed to get episode you guys killed. One. I've been doing it since episode one, baby. Fucking snitch. Hey, you can't be surprised. I told the captain straight up, for real, for real. For real. Uh, though the Flesh Meteor obstacles can be overcome, they leave a remaining threat on High Sword Island. The Cambians that they summon are scattered all throughout the land, and people begin distrusting others everywhere. Cambians have a chance of gaining sentience, like Radiant Mike. They're doppelgangers who may copy the appearance of individuals, uh, Radiant Mike being able to copy Chuck, so in a small way he lives on. Uh, and a movement starts to begin sort of like the Salem Witch Trials, where people are burning each other, accusing neighbors of being demons and burning those who are unpure. The hysterics are hard to lay to rest, as the illusions which allow a Cambion to maintain a human form are so effective that they remain after death. Burning a human does not disprove that they were not a Cambion all along. <laughs> That's, oh, Jesus. Fucked up. That's, That's lit. Fucked up, dude. <clears throat> uh, I gave you guys four choices at the beginning of the campaign. I don't know if you noticed, but Margaret the person you killed was one of the options to repair the canal was a, a campaign choice. Yan Kim was a witch hunter and Radiant Mike was uh, going to go start his own cult and he may be the only person who was actually successful. <laughs> Should have stuck with Radiant Mike, man. The consulate refers to the flesh meteors as the nameless horror, but the disciples of Radiance would deny the notion that this was all random and nameless. They refer to it as the return of the progenitor, citing facts of the cosmos unveiled by Harper and her astrologer tower to show how the consulate would prefer to hide the truth from mankind. Radiant Mike gathers a formidable group of cultists with his charm and prophetic words, 
that predicted these events shortly before their occurrence. The cult briefly thrive while the consulate is distracted by cleaning up the mess of the meteors. Once attention may be turned on his disciples, they had already vanished into the blessed filth of High Sword. And finally, a troll shaman pulled the strings of the Arbons and planned events leading to the Flesh Meteors long in advance. The blockades created by the consulate and the time it took them to gather their champions allowed for success of their true purpose. While the meteors were dealt with, the gatehouse which leads to the main High Sword castle was attacked by additional forces which had been growing in strength in the north. Feral trolls and heavily mutated Cambians collaborated in this assault, to which the purpose of remains unknown. There is, specifically, inside the gatehouse, a giant elevator that's pulled by a chain by uh, a very rare creature in a giant, uh, and this giant was killed. Oh. After destroying oh. the gatehouse, the aggressive forces retreated back into the northern marshes of filth and have not been able been to be found by the hands of the consulate, and they may have actually needed your help in doing that. <laughs> we should we should have just went and killed him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this was well, not the move. The only reason we did this is because we didn't want Shofo to be left out, and he fucked us. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of that, but also it would have been easier with him there. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, yeah. Such well, took life. myself out with Timmy. No, fuck it. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed. That's it. Yeah. I know there was a lot of missed sessions, a lot of downtime, and a lot of stuff that I learned, so I apologize for any time spent learning or whatever, but I had a lot of fun running it, and yeah, if you're all up for it again, whenever I have uh, another campaign ready, there's a couple things I would like to fix up before then. The map loading feature is one of those things, which was officially fixed by Map Tool. Mm -hmm. I'm really... That was really annoying. Nice. Um, but yeah, I know it, it looked like it got fixed just in time for us to die. Yeah. What's uh, what's what's uh, what's Dick's epilogue? <laughs> Dick epilogue. Well, Dick's I, I, still alive, right? Yeah. So Dick runs away into the forest. Where would Dick go? He'd go back to Radiant Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, he would. He'd come crawling back. All right. Then well, the, the the epiphany here is that clearly these guys don't give a shit. The console does not give a shit and that Radiant Mike was right, and that there was an imbalance, and that this guy's so far up his own ass he can't see it. Well, the hand. Base. Th then Dick's Base gonna Dick. return to uh, Radiant Mike and apologize. Do you guys ever hook up? Would you try uh, and hook? He gives birth to a, a they, What do you mean boy. they raised that baby together? <laughs> Would yeah, you yeah. raise the baby with Radiant Mike? Yeah, yeah and he would, he, 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 he would tell Radiant Mike everything after all of that shit happened. And yeah, they would bang, of course. Yep. Radiant Mike then continues to explain as you're... I mean, you're kind of agreeing with him now, but he would point out that the world is in a stagnant era where all the myths of the cosmos have laid dormant for too long, and the world would be better off if we can, you know, just awaken them again and let a couple of flesh meteors mix things up because it's been too <laughs> stale for too long. <laughs> How long does... Uh dick have left to live with his ailment or did he like advance Wait, so does that mean that like uh dick and essentially chuck were like eh, hooking up at the end Mike he would ask chuck? he would ask him to turn into chuck yeah <laughs> just so he could see his friend again uh dick would be dying from his illness but one of the very few people who could actually help him would be radiant mike He'd so, take that <laughs> given that they're now raising their child together, he would be able to ask for the progenitor's help in keeping him alive as probably some even further mutated flesh horror. Dude, <laughs> wait, is that child just going to become a like a SCN. super beast? Uh, that is to be determined. The chosen one. The chosen one. Let me ask you a question. Do you think we could have defeated the shaman? Or, I don't know, we probably wouldn't have even done that. I think... Well, it, 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 probably not, right? I think it would have been possible but difficult hmm. we probably just should have stuck on the evil path yeah probably my initial expectations when a lot of that was getting put together and you guys were already being quite chaotic was that you were going to meet radiant mike and be interested in what he was doing and join the shaman and help them so i thought you were going to end up killing everyone at the gatehouse with the shaman that would have been cool kind of would have been oh, sick actually that's what we should have done 
Instead, we fucking called the cops on ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> 911! We grew it was called us. the cops on ourselves and died. Oh, it was too late. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was just too late. Dude, I'm realizing I mean, my, it, like my it was body was fucked, but I could have given my right. head. I could have given my head to Dick and lived on. It lived sounded on like it was too late for me since session fucking one. We killed the far, uh, killed the captain's son. That's it. This is why you never trust the cops, man. I hear you, but you know what? We wanted, we wanted, we wanted to play with Sure Four, and that's what we get. <laughs> that, I, that's what you take, get when you I'm play with gonna... Sure Four. I'm not gonna take the pity bait, because your own words, when Gillard was to the left, is you like, play the long con, man, play the long con, the betrayal long con. <laughs> and and then it happens, in a way. Alright, I got fan art for the stream. Okay. Right. okay. Yeah, but you were like, fuck it. <laughs> I thought you were gonna, I thought you were gonna perma. Uh, I'm going backwards up the fan art. So we're starting oh. from burning, <laughs> burning building. <laughs> that was a good run. Yeah, that's the logistics. Yeah. The fuck clip art is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Is that him <laughs> running? Is that him running through the forest? Oh. There's there's like two videos I'll I'll put at the end. I'm not sure how I can play them. The little like rap baby. <laughs> yeah, can I would say. Out of my defense, though, the only time I'd ever played D and D or whatever you want to call it was with Arcadum, and you could do no wrong. We <laughs> so I thought that like maybe the consulate might be like, you know what? Sure, why don't you go ahead and you? There's fortunately it is not that way. There's it's, always it's a, a way world, to though. make it the right decision, whatever the players did, but I don't want to do that because then after a while, it, once you it. you become privy to that, and you only played three sessions and you're aware of it. That uh, hey, man. It, a lot of things lose meaning. If anyone ex if anyone appreciates consequences, it's me. I just oh. think that you should have left my. I just think you should have let my misdirect go into Gilliard's head. That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> I, 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 that's all okay. Obviously, I know I wouldn't be able to run away, but I think that my misdirect should went right um, into Gilliard's head. That'd here's, be pretty here's funny. A question. Here's a question. Does the head ever stop talking? Does he eventually lose? Well, um, I think the whole thing at the head was is we were only we were the ones there for the ritual, so it was just us that. Oh yeah. The yeah, head right. was actually another character you guys have not met fucking with you. <laughs> hey, yeah, I actually I wanted to ask you what Real? was up with that statue. Uh, that was a statue to Baphomet. Right. That's not but even like, give what? me a buff because of my head went on the wall and then just forgot. And that's, I think that's what killed us. I, I was going to buff your, uh, basically your head item to have uh, more magical power, but I didn't think we were going to have combat today or anything where it would actually matter. I could have defeated the hand of the consulate. The, the original we were, intention for it was God. to, to put a weapon or some sort of item on it where it would get a downside and be improved with power. But that was before all y'all were fucking carrying heads around. We could have kept this campaign going for a little bit, I bet. Mm -hmm. Damn. Fuck. Oh, well. You're Rip not. bozos. <laughs> we shipboarded ship the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks good. Oh, my God, dude. Mmm. Mmm. Real? That looks like Nigel Thornberry? Mm-mm. Blah. His clothes are too nice. <laughs> are you burning people in the woods for their teeth? Dude, that was just like that was a good session. That was that was the star of the slope. Yeah. Oh, damn. Is. Well, there he was. He'll wow. always be with you. Is that a crochet em embroidery? Uh, yeah. yeah. Cross stitch. Wow. That's nice. That probably took a while. That's like, that's really good texture on the hair. <laughs> this is a good fucking shit post. Smile might be good. <laughs> it's nothing to smile about. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa! You're oh, in the game! Yeah. That rules. Boy, that's sick. Yeah, it's Radiant Mike. He's riding the <laughs> flesh ball. I, lo I love this. What the heck? That's awesome. That's by uh, I'm, I'm a big Pizza Tower fan. Wait, which Wobbles? Exactly uh, like Wobbles, uh, this is a commission from Burdenar for Moon's birthday. 
Whoa! Oh, Happy I know, bird. I know Birdnar. Yeah, he's great. Holy. This, this is an excellent birthday present. Fuck. Mm. I didn't know Flaherty was half centaur. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, she's she just holding right around now. in that wagon the whole time. God damn. damn. <laughs> A bit late. This was oh, the tulip damn. blossoming. Oh, there he is. Is he the Hokage? What is that? I don't know. I don't know. That's probably his heart or some shit and he's feeling elated that he's, Dude, he's like, in blood he's like and the guy exploding. from legend of zelda there is this sick oh, yeah, the one fucking, the motherfucker zant yeah. yeah so does gilliard just get to become a dragon now <laughs> Probably. oh gilliard's he's ending like, um he's like so a simp cool. slave for that fortress for the rest of his days <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what he wanted. He wanted to just fuck around with dragons. Why did we call this fucking furry <laughs> bitch? I, this you fucking didn't know furry that, though. Bitch. Scaly. Scaly. He's Gilliard scaly. would likely become, through the word of Marson, would, he would try and set him up to be like a squire to this other hand of the consulate who rides a dragon. Though they're Wait, kind I... of an edgelord, and I'm not so sure <laughs> if it's going to happen or not, but he's at the very least going to gain significant info about dragons. Why did Gilead show up with Guy and Marson? Because they knew where we were. Because you guys message, said what the tower you were I at. I sent him did not yeah. imply that I was with the others or had met the others, and when him and I separated, I had not found the others. So for me, you said you were going to go try and find the others, so... But when I sent the message, I specifically said I. I didn't say we. I said I. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he sends trickery. I, sense metal, I know I Chuck. I, we got men from my experience with Dick, and they, you know what they've done and what I've had at them. And so, if you were trying to find him, Suska. regardless, I was regardless if you were in the group or not. If you were by yourself, I still would have brought Marcone because Marcone is literally like watching me. You know. So if I went off by myself, that probably would not bode well for Gilliard. And Gilliard's an honest man anyway, so he would have just gone straight to Marstone anyways. <laughs> Regardless just, if you were with someone Gilliard or without a, anyone. Gilliard's such a fucking dweeb. Dude, Gilliard yeah. I mean, like, you guys keep saying this. You guys keep saying this, but it's literally been there from the very start of the campaign. So literally God, the very, the very look, first. Let, let me explain. Let campaign. me explain the logic, okay? Flesh apocalypse, right? Uh, 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 right. Consulate be set on both sides. Uh, their victory unclear is doubly so after the second meteor is launched. I assumed. Bargaining with them to handle part of their apocalypse would have worked out, but Marcone is the main character and fucking owned us. But I also explained to you that one night is from my perspective of after I left, Dick did not have this epiphany and was just this like little guy going like, got me a gun. Put your hands up, mate. Yeah, let's burn some stuff. And Chuck literally is just chaos incarnate. So I don't know any of the epiphanies you had or anything that came with to it. And you believe this guy and you're th this guy is the reason you wanted that flesh meter to come out. And then you're trying to say that he told you something of important information. So it's like, how do I intrinsically directly trust? Well, if you're not a retard, you would assume that that trusted person divulging information to you is something that would be useful in the way of actually handling the problem. <clears throat> yeah, that's my bad. My character should just believe 100%. No. He shouldn't. That's my bad. Damn, G. Damn, OG. That was sick, dude. That was fun. The correct assumption was to just kill us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I feel like Moon knew we were going to die to the point where he was like, let's just have this conversation outside. Like the second Moon said that, I was like, oh, he knows we're going to die. He's just embracing it. Um. Well, once the, the very beautiful, handsome man showed up, 
Uh, the one that was described as the person that could be the only person in the whole world that could undo the oath of violence. Yeah, or whatever. We were dead. <laughs> we were getting attacked no matter what, man. It I was thought, so I thought Stur was going to say, oh, he's dead because the tower's, you know, fucking thousand years old. But he was like, oh, no, he works down the road. And then he just like came by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't like, know. Oh, we're fucked. We're fucked. Wait, that, I, that who would be dead? Because like the, when we first got to the tower, you talked about how old it was. So I assumed the oath, the person who put the oath on the tower would be long dead. Oh, no. And then when, when Dick asked about it, you're like, oh, no, he like works at the fucking cafe down the corner. <laughs> like he'll, he'll, and then so Dick's just like, oh, he's definitely going to show up. Yeah. Now the, the tower is extremely old, but it was only repurposed for Harper who begged the consulate to let her do research in her like basically her own tomb. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, I'm glad yeah, she, I'm... Wa she walked out at the end, though. Was she could she have always left? There is a like very slight proximity like, for her where she can like go console. outside. But if she le it's kind of um, there's a whole other race called twin souls where they uh, have yeah. to, you know, stand near each other. It's kind of like that for her where the tower is her twin soul. Oh, so, so she, she can far from it. be away for it for a little bit, but will die if she's gone for too long. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But it's dead now. Yeah. Oh no, did I kill her? So I can just the stream doesn't have to go down. I, I, I don't know why that keeps happening. You just came back. We hear you now. It, yeah, I, I burning down the tower. Did I kill Harper? No, she's out. Oh. No, she's outside. No, well, yeah, but like she's a title. Oh, he, uh, he, he, ended, guy, he ended the magic. Yeah, guy had already broken the oath. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, I just want to say before anyone goes that I, I just, in general, really appreciate that everyone played and any patience I was afforded for yeah. whatever things working or not working. I definitely learned a lot fun. for the system and mm -hmm. uh, for being a DM. That, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and definitely I feel bad about the huge breaks that we had to take around Christmas, but they certainly helped a lot. Like, better than like, most I campaigns i think honestly it's having been in the first campaign too it's really fun to see like uh your engine be developed like more and more every time we play it's like super cool nice and i actually I, <laughs> to randomly say i i don't know if i could demo it but like there's a thing now at the end of combat where it'll count uh like who did the most damage and all that i was pretty excited for cool. mm. oh really that's sick it was fun I wish that we would have stuck with the evil path. I wish we would have kept it going a bit, but you yeah. know what? We fucked up. It's got to end eventually, right? So it is what it is, I suppose. It oh. is what it is. You know, authors and, uh, you know, storytellers, they always say that they always feel like they fuck their endings up. I think being being on the it's fence did get us right, killed so. for sure. Oh, 100%. We should have just, we should just, we should have yeah, just committed. We, we should, yes, or, yes, we should just pick a side. But I also understand what Moon is saying. And, you know, obviously. I, I, I thought part, they were, a part, a part of me did believe fucked. that there would be some, a part of me did believe that there would be some redemption there based on the information that we uh, were able to obtain. And like, maybe like, hey, we infiltrated a bit. I thought maybe there'd be some wiggle room there, but I also understand why there was. I think if uh, if Shuffle's other character hadn't died, we would have just kept being evil. It's just yeah. like, <laughs> for me it was like, yeah. I wanted Shuffle to keep playing. And so like, I kind of, my through my character, I pushed the yeah. decision to contact I Alien. don't think you should ever do stuff like that because- Why though? Well, it's like, I, like i chose to die in a way right like stir literally said i mean maybe i role play in the wrong way and maybe i just don't understand how everyone else wanted to role play and maybe we should talk about that other campaign like maybe i should just be more willing to go things sometimes no, i think it's fine man it's just like we were at a point in the no. campaign where it was like no more new characters so yeah. like, for, that's for why i'm trying to say like, like i'm gonna go get I, I believe that everyone should role play the way they want to role play. And that's what makes it very interesting. That's why we got conflict RP between me and Chuck. And I think that's needed and that's very interesting. And I agree. That's why I never think people should like metagame like me missing out or anything. Cause Stir literally said, Hey, there's going to be a chance you don't get to play here. And I still, I like playing in character a lot. 
and I knew Timmy would want to go into that flesh pile because he's a <laughs> fucking psychopath. And yeah. I know that had the opportunity for me not to keep playing. So I chose that decision, right? But we we chose to find Gilead knowing that there would still be conflict. So we I don't really think it, I, I don't think it has really anything to do with it. We all agree I mean, that it, conflict is good. At yeah, least I, just I'm just going to say as a player, you still be at the table. I understand. For me, it, it wasn't it wasn't about sure for being able to join. I truly believed that we had gathered enough information to where we would potentially be trusted to continue our infiltration or, or something. You know what I mean? But I get like I said, but I understand why I just fucking. I mean, odds are the one. they would have, but specifically Marcone, I had been like tracking ever since the first murder. He was already pissed off about it all. The damage is done. I get it. I mean, I like the I like the why give a chimpanzee we, a machine gun? I get it. I like the idea that we tried to like right our wrongs and then like learned that like there is no good side. That's yeah. like a good. It's like a good ending, and then like Dick escapes and just fucking turns evil anyway. Like it's great. It, it, but it's, like not, it. it's not even evil. It's not even evil. Right. You just picked the side that fucked you less. No, it's it, it's not. The, no, I, I think they're. The I think they're. The I think they're right. <laughs> I think they're right, man. Oh they're my. Cool. Yeah, I think he's right. Yeah. Well, like genuine, like he, genuinely meta out of character wise, I think that he is no, doing the right thing. I think he I don't know, dog. Right, I mean, we did like, kill when, a lot of people. <laughs> I think he is right, but like the way he pitched it to us is like, kill yourselves. And we were like, <laughs> we don't. Again? Like, that's literally how Again? he pitched it to us. And we were like, Mike, we don't want to do that. And he was like, just kill yourselves. Like, for the great <laughs> and we were like, I we don't want to do that, Mike. And then, I like, it, you know, list. we go through all. Oh, and then the other side shows up and they go, we're not going to ask you. We're just going to kill you. And then you're like, I, well, Mike I, is probably better. I'm talking from like an out of character perspective, and this isn't me fishing for answers or whatever. But like the whole reason the world is the way that it is is because of like the the myth or origin myth, right? Where uh, nature is killed, right? Is, is it nature or is it? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's Na it's several, Na but nature and life are both dead. Um, <laughs> there's a huge cosmic imbalance, and I think in a way, Radiant Mike was probably the actual kind of solution to the imbalance that the consulate represented yeah of like tearing down the system or just making it equal ish yeah that's all it was that's fun some deep, that's some deep shit bro yeah it, it was, was fun. fun it was a wish we would have wish we would have stuck with with the radium mic path but you know what Next future time. i guess lesson learns to pick a pick a fucking path and stick with it yeah <laughs> yep Yep, lesson learned. Okay, I gotta go get some coffee. I love you guys. Yep. Love all right, you. thanks for having me. Oh that was a lot of fun. Bye. Thanks, uh, yeah. thanks for the invite. I had a lot of fun. Okay. That was good. Thanks for, thanks for playing. I'll let you know if there is uh, other opportunities, everybody. For sure. Thanks, man. Thank you, Stella. Well, all right. Make, make we'll call you. Don't call us. Uh-oh. <laughs> Never hear from uh, him uh, again. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, shout out to Shofu, who, like, sat through that for four hours and didn't get to play. I'm completely what do you mean? He got, he got, he won. Yeah, but he had to fucking just. He uh, won. Hour, yeah, though. yeah, but he knew what was coming, so he got yeah. to sit there eagerly awaiting. True. He just fucking rubbing his can hands together. Can I wait? Together. Can I say? Exactly. Sir, can I say what you were messaging me while I was RPing Killfuck? Uh, sure. Uh, you were telling me what I should be saying and what I should be thinking. Yeah. So that wasn't me. That wasn't Killfuck actually doing any of that. Oh yeah, I know. Okay. 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 Yeah. Was, yeah. I, I. Yeah. I, I. I. mean, there was a literally a text that said possessed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I. I. know. I know. Okay. Okay. That was fun. I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Later. Bye, everybody. Peace. Goodbye. Aw, heck yeah.